Yo, what's up, guys? Take Yaki, hello. Sarek, Ludar, Starry, thank you for that 17 months to be sub. I really appreciate that. Um, Terrell, Catman, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hopefully having a good Tuesday. Today. Um, it is good to see you all. We uh, redo our Machinist live drill. All fresh from the start. I didn't hit the button. Um, because our other one last week got disconnected. At a... Uh, Floor 193, and I, I had the clear in the bag too, so you know, it, it is what it is, so we just have to do it again. If anything, that's the way that, uh, you know, we had to we had to authenticate the run. You know, the whole the whole streamer luck thing, you know? So if we can do it again, that means it really authenticates the run. That means, you know, we could, we could, we could, it's repeatable. Consistency. Do you see it stop? Yeah, of course. Well, I said, let's gotta do it again. You know, just the 13 hours again, not a problem. What's up, Aurora? How you doing? Alright, let's go, team. Let's do it! Hopefully I don't need luck, but you know. Alrighty, team. I'm gonna load any slower. Alright. So, instant theme we're gonna work on is I'm gonna kill everything. We wanna keep our levels fairly high. And let me tell you, it's going to be a good way to start because, um... The higher level you are, the stronger you are, it'll make kind of the floors a lot easier, so we will be killing everything. As we go through, I'll explain things that need to be explained. Um, more or less in the sense of like, you know, need to know kind of things. Um, but this whole kind of beginning will be fairly easy. Keep Peloton going, check all the rooms, check all the chests best you can, try to get into that habit, and you are gonna start off pretty well with this run. I'm on DC watch duty, they better watch out. Thanks, Ludart. You know, that's some that's something that's uh that is a uh, <clears throat> that is a job that is definitely uh important around these parts. Play like I own it. Actually, yeah, I, I would say like aside from Red Mage, physical range is one of my stronger jobs in here in particular. Um, so I'm very comfortable in this job. So sometimes I forget. Like I will honestly take for granted a lot of things that I probably should be mentioning in the run. Actually, one of which I should probably mention already, and I'll try to remember it, which is the transformation macro. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll, we'll go through. Mainly in Machinist though, like, if you're handling things one at a time, there's not very much here that's going to give you a problem. You know, like, I mean, I could talk about what the antelopes do, I could talk about what the fire sprites and the, and the squirrels, what they all do, but... You're probably killing them before you really need to care, so it's okay. Fluffy Dream, hi. I'm about to attempt... The 190, the 180s on Reaper. Hoping to get my title and all things. Hey, I'm glad they're helping. Getting the title on Reaper sounds awesome. There's definitely is very few people who, who've done that for sure. I mean, we have Reaper clears, but to get the title on Reaper is going to be certainly something to be proud about. So good luck and keep me posted. I always love hearing people's uh, stories. So be sure to come back and let me know how that goes. Or if you have questions, of course, we can help you. Um, it ain't much when it's honest work. It is honest work. I appreciate that, man. <clears throat> Alright, we'll, we'll take the chest in. Again, get into the habit of picking up all the chests. And I think one thing you want to take into kind of consideration as we're running through the floors. I'm going to be trying to explore everything. I'm going to be trying to get to the chests. I'm going to be killing everything. But look at our time. You know, I, I know people open up these videos and like they have it up as they're running. Almost like they're running along with me and, and, and playing along with me, but a lot of times I am going to be going much faster than most people. So something to take into consideration because time is of the essence. And if you can kind of move at a very speedy pace, uh, hey, you're going to be saving time. <clears throat> hey Danjay, how you doing? So I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. Um, I had a really good day today. Nice and chill. Lots of shows. Caught up in some things. It's a good day today. I like the chill days. The chill days are really good. Hey Narya, hey! How you doing? It's been a minute. Hope you're doing well. <coughs> oh Yakushi, hey! He's a five. Yo. Cheers, my friend. Thank you for the five subs of the channel. Appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. 
um, a wall in it. Good to see you as always, my friend. Uh, I just lost a little HOH because I DC'd for a moment enough to lose floor 61. Yuck. Yeah, actually, man, the DCs have been pretty strong. You know, and yeah, I, I am doing this live tutorial for a second time because I DC'd last week on 193 and we had, we basically had the clear. I think I had like two, I had like three rages walking into like 191. Um, we had enough lights, we had all the resos, like it was basically in the bag. I just, I just had to play the game. And, uh,. The internet said not today. It wasn't the game, it was the, my internet. Sometimes it's the game, but I assure you this time it was the internet. So we gotta do it all over again. Again, we're hunting down everything, guys. Everything dies today, at least until we get to 60. I like to get my my XP to 60 as much as I can. Um, because again, it keeps you stronger. It'll make your life a lot more comfy. I mean, you can go fast if you want to go fast. But... You're gonna start to feel that that kind of tug with the damage and, and enemies hitting you a little bit harder, things taking a little bit longer. So if you take a little bit extra time doing it early, it'll come back and help you later. And then once you get to 60, then you can kind of really go faster and we'll go pretty fast, starting at the 41 set. But this this one is a little bit more calmer and more chill. Should've known better because I did hear the- oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, for me, like... Let me tell you, Ninarnia, if, if, if I get word of like high winds, specifically high winds, like like heavy rain, not bad, but if it's coupled with high winds, I will question if I want to do like palace or something. Like I'm okay with heaven on high, we're okay setting up a run today, because you know, if I, if I disconnect from this file, it's whatever, you know, let's do it again. But man, I don't want to lose this, uh, a day two file for, for a palace of dead, so I will probably detour if I need to, uh, but yeah. Hey, Killer Joel. Hey Minajuri. Hey Hanako. Hey guys. Good to see you all. Death and POTD is your best teacher. Except when it's a disconnect, and that's not really a good teacher. It teaches you how to... It, it'll it, it'd be an immediate lesson of how to control your rage. <laughs> how to not break items in your, in your office space. That's what that teaches you. Or maybe you failed a lesson and you just break things anyway. But that depends on the person, I think. Also notice that I'm hugging the walls pretty tightly. One benefit of the physical range is I can pull along the hallways. Traps are usually in the middle of the room. That's why you will see us hug the walls very, very closely. We are wall huggers. We like the walls. Um, but it will be a constant theme. That's how we avoid a lot of traps. Now we can't, we don't avoid all the traps, but we avoid a lot of the traps. Hey Jim Jims, got a new PB. Well, what's the PB? It depends on what the PB is, dude. I mean, if you told me you got a PB of 2, I'm still proud of you. We don't like frog traps? Well, you know, frog traps are not that bad. I mean, they're, they're better than auto traps. Floor 170? Hmm. Very proud of you, my friend. We're, we're getting there. Didn't get to Behemoth, but hey, it's okay. That's a big that's a big frog point, so... Yo, what's up, Todd? Do you think during a guide is simply a core component? Yeah, well, I'm gonna put it up. It's gonna be up on YouTube at some point, so it'll be definitely a lesson for sure. Do you think it's a personal mall check? <laughs> yeah, I'd say it is a personal mall check. Here's the thing, I haven't died. Ooh, that means you're getting- Ooh, that means you're getting into the juicy wars. Okay. Yo, fog, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Do whatever it needs to do to, to keep going. And I wish you luck. Oh, I should explain a B. Which is fight. I, I, I was fighting a B earlier and I didn't explain a B. We'll explain certain enemies that exist, um, just so you guys can have some knowledge on them as we go along the floors. Again, a lot of these enemies, I know I could talk about them. Mage's Guide will cover it, but really, like, I don't really have to talk too much about certain things because you're killing them before they become a problem. A lot of times, the enemies will only become a problem when uh, you hit the Loring Trap, and then it's like, oh, well, what do I do with, like, three enemies on me, you know? Do you pull a, a, a goddamn amount of any? Ooh. Got him down to 14.9, messed up my burst and died, working to call me back. to look in the run. Oh no, 14.9, ugh. You know, threading the needle is tough, but to have the best chance, you gotta do it. Of course, do it on, do it on, do it on DM Discord, or do it on, uh, the, the, our Discord, the, the channel Discord, whichever you prefer. I'll look at it, though, after stream, so you'll probably get a response tomorrow, just as a heads up. But, uh, yeah, absolutely, DM me, please. 
Dog battle. Okay, we do have a B, so I get to explain a B here. What a good song. I like the song so much. Okay, so the bees do final sting. Now in this floor, they do it a lot sooner than they will a hundred floors later. So if you happen to see final sting, you can run away from it. So we're actually just gonna do this. I'm just autoing it like this. Final sting, I'm gonna run away from it. And we're good. Now, how far do you need to go? I mean, I'm not that sure. I don't know if I really like, yo, know, just go 10 yams, you're good to go. But you just keep just keep running and you'll be fun. I gotta do it again, Logan. I I disconnected, so I gotta do it again. We gotta we gotta get that guide up to YouTube, you know? We gotta get it ready for the next uh seven months. So people can use it. Yeah, I DC'd 193, ma'am. We DC'd a 193. <laughs> and I think I had I think I had three rages and like three flights or something. Whatever. My ISP didn't want me to clear. Here's my ISP. <clears throat> and Walker Music, yeah, and Walker Music is really freaking good. I still need to add music in. I always talk about it and I don't do it. There's a lot of projects that I have and I'm sitting around and I'm not doing. Uh, mostly because I guess I'm just lazy, but I I'm also doing other projects, so it's kind of just not, not a good idea for me. Like, it's not like I'm sitting in my butt and not doing anything, I'm just doing other things. Um, I still gotta do the the clear screenshots on the on the starting screen. I still gotta add in like four to five songs that I've been wanting to on this playlist. I'm bad, but it's alright. <laughs> it's alright. 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 I tend to look for chaps before one to trigger Lorian for more XP. Yes, that's actually a thing. Totally. What Killajolt said said I'll repeat it again. Uh, Killajolt said I tend to look for traps on one to ten to trigger Lorian for more XP. Absolutely. Take advantage of that. Again, your goal here is to up your XP, that's why we're killing everything. So I mean, you know, these things only spawn every so often. I mean, unless you hang around here too long, then yeah, you're gonna get a lot of kills, but that's another way to speed up the amount of kills, is to force out a Loin Trap. I do it, I, when you'll see me do it, is if I do, um, is if I do, um, if I have like a fourth site, you know, we have, we capped out on site, and I get yet another one, that's when you'll probably see me do it. I don't do it too intentionally. I don't go out of my way to make it happen, um, but it's totally a thing you can do. Hey Quad! Oh, thanks for this to be, man. Yo, Quad just cleared a uh, summoner house of dead. I believe it was summoner. He botched it, and he's still cleared. What a gamer! Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. I have not picked up a strength. I just realized that we haven't gotten a single strength here. What's going on? That's that's a rarity. Doo -doo. I like that emote, Ludor. <laughs> Man, I gotta do emotes or another one I wanna do. I wanna have like I wanna add on to emotes. I have so many slots, you guys are so generous. We have so many emote slots open and I have I just have not had any ideas for them. It's bad. It's bad. I gotta get all this buttoned up by the next deep dungeon, you know? I think that was you, Jim, right? Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'll check it after stream. I, I just don't like sitting on, on uh, notifications on my thing, but I appreciate that. Because how do muscles make bullets shoot harder? No, you, 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 you coat the bullets with, like, extra damage. That's how it works. That's how it works. Peloton spam, guys. It's time if you if you are not someone who is who has OCD or or, AD, or ADHD or something, now is the time because you want to be spamming Peloton like literally off cheat like just when it's ready. You know, might be over the top, but hey, at least you're going faster and it's an instant cast, so why not? The floor would make the patrols are brutal. I bet. Figured I'd, figured I'd at least ask before I throw a message at you. Oh no, no, you're fine. Um, you know, no, I, like I'm perfectly okay with DMs. I don't care, man. I, I welcome them. Um, when I get DMs during stream, I do check them, but I don't look at them. Meaning I, I take the notification out. Um, and that's not to say that I'm bothered by them at all. Sometimes I joke about that with JC and Jason said. JC knows that, uh, you know, I will not check the message the DMs during stream, and he's like, he just sent it to me anyway. But but it's fine, it's just, you know, I don't care. Um, just understand that I'm not replying to you, that's all it, that's all it is. Like, I'm not, 
I'm not gonna reply to you, so I hope you're okay with that. I mean, we're talking right now, so I'll reply to you there, but I won't check clips out. Um, I got a strength! Hog, I'm gonna need strength. Okay. So first thing that I will uh, talk about is our uh, transformation macro. It was a good thing. Someone reminded me to like mention the transformation macro and we were on like floor like 110. I'm like, oh yeah, we should talk about that. <laughs> you know, five hours in, we should talk about that macro. So it's over here. This is the macro that I have up here. It doesn't matter what you're using. Um, but I have it here. Here. Status off transformation. What you'll see this do, I'll put it in chat here, is that it'll kick me out of lust. So I'm gonna use a lust here because I like using a lust here. You'll see the icon here. Most, I would say 80% of players, 85% of players, or no, let's say like 70% of players, will right-click this off. But if you're like me, I play on a keyboard, or you control the player, that transformation macro is going to be hugely important because it can kick you out of lust without any misclicking. Because what I used to do is I used to traverse to my UI like this and I'd be on the UI like this. But sometimes I became inaccurate. So that transformation macro will get me out of lust whenever I need to, and that's useful for later, for rages, uh, resolution, so on and so forth. I completely understand the stream is time. Yeah, I'm happy to have you here, man. Alright, and I'm gonna press the button, you see 16, 15, I kick it out, and we are out of that transformation there. Peloton is so OP. Peloton's great. Oh, is this guy gonna get pissed because I'm gonna enter right away? I'm going right in. Lol. So how did you get the Q so fast? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, so, after the potency buffs, what's the consensus on Machinist with Behemoth? Um... I mean, not that it's easy. Behemoth is pretty comfy though. It's, it's a lot comfier than it used to be, that's for sure. Um... So, it, it's in a good spot. I do healing chat, and healing chat is way comfier. Tincture should be more or less the same though. Um, but healing chat, which you'll see me do on Thursday, hopefully, is like really, really comfy now. I like it a lot. Is that Necromancer Lava Button in my chat? Oh my god, it's Necromancer Lava Button. Holy crap. Yo, what's up, man? And June? Yo, what's up, June? How are you doing, June? Good to see you. It is! Yeah, Lava Button, congratulations on the on the uh, Necromancer clear. Also, guys, June Clancy himself. Check him out. He's probably helped you clear raids. He's a good man. Good friend of the stream. You're gonna want to check his stream out. He streams whenever the hell he wants. Oh my god, Lava Button. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, congratulations, dude. Thank you for the 20 gift subs to the channel. Oh, we got a whole lot of homies in. Let's go. Holy shit! Hell yeah, dude. I gotta give back to someone who helped me so much in my journey. Hey. It's very kind of you, man. You don't got- you don't have to, but I'm happy to hear that you got that title. That's- that's all we're- that's all myself and the community are, are doing, right? Just wanna spread the word, help everyone out. That's what I like to do. And this is all preparation for that next deep dungeon. We're gonna do it all over again, except it's fresh, and it's gonna be quite the journey to have all of you guys around, and we'll see what we can do. Get a lot of people into this content, huh? Make the make one of the more difficult content in this game accessible to everyone. That's how I like to think about it. Maybe make it look easy along the process, but that's a different story altogether. Lava button. So what's next, man? Did you get loan here already? Are you gonna do other jobs? What's the what's next on the agenda? Are you just gonna go to go to Hawaii for six months and come back later? I can't wait for the next deep dungeon. They haven't given a patch for it yet. No, nope, it's going to be 6.3 real pets. We are predicting January or February of 2023. Uh, that is not a meme. That is what we mapped out. <clears throat> so um, that's where we're thinking it's gonna land. Probably we'll get information by about. Um, uh, October. I'm thinking September, October, we're going to get information. So that's what you're looking at. Yo, what's up, JCN? Uh, we did run into a slime, which I do want to talk about. Slimes need to die because they have an enrage. I believe it's 35 seconds. 
If you keep it alive for 35 seconds, it will blow up and kill you instantly. No charge up, no nothing. Uh, I'd love to demonstrate, but, um, you know, not really something I want to do on a run like this. It lines up with the Boja patch, which, yep, exactly. And historically, so they have, they didn't say when exactly it's going to be real peps, but we're basically saying it's going to be 6.35, and that's historical. Boja was 3.5, uh, 0.35, Palace of the Dead was 0.35, Heaven on High was 0.35, so it's, it's just going to follow along that stuff. So you're thinking 6.3 is going to be December, and then you're thinking about one or two months later is the halfway part, and that's where we're thinking that we'll see it, we'll see the deep dungeon. Alright, this is the slime, we gotta make sure we prioritize to kill this. Just focus on killing it, kill it in a hallway. I highly recommend you kill it in a hallway just in case you step on a trap by accident. If you step on a toad trap while fighting a slime, get ready to reset your file, that's all I'll say. Uh, 4 for 5. Yeah, because they did it, that's why they did it in installments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Heaven on High was fully released at a point spot. I never got to see a slime explode. Can you outrun it or something? No, I think it's really big. Although, I did, I do recall being away from it at one point when I was in a party. Like, I was too far away from it. But if you're solo, it's probably going to kill you. Like, more than likely, you're probably dead from it. Um, so. I'm working on Machina Summoner in Heaven on High and thinking about Dark Knight V for Palace Run. Hell yeah, Lava Button. That's what I want to hear. What does a necromancer do when they get the title? They go right back in. Duh. Takes you how long to get the clear and you're like, Yeah, I want to do this again tomorrow. <laughs> that's, the, that's, I think, the craziness of this content, I think. I think I would say 90% uh, of people, 95% of people, they'll take months and months and months for the clear this arduous journey to get this one title and like the very next day they're like yeah I kind of want to do it again <laughs> just remember because they said patch cycle will be slower that's right and 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 real peps that is how we were mathing it out so for instance uh, we got 6.1 in April right we just got 6.1 so four months later because it used to be three and a half or like three months three and a half so four months is uh, May June July August that's 6.2. So then, uh, September, October, November, December, that's December for, uh, 6.3. And then if you're thinking about the halfway mark, 6.35, one or two months later, that puts you in February or January. Um, so that's why we're saying that. Stockholm Syndrome? Yeah. I want to play Heaven's Word. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to play Heaven's Word right now, you know? Alright, we're moving along, guys. First 146 stock. Yeah, it's, you know, it's part of the journey. It's part of the challenge. Every every single person has to do a real peps. That's kind of my justification there. It, it sucks. It's long. Um, it's a drag. It's fluff floors. It's not a challenging, but every single gamer that gets the title has to do it. So it is what it is. People who have the title have it. Great podcast content. Yeah, true. I I I mean, if I'm ever doing deep dungeon alone. Like, not streaming it. I totally have a stream up. I totally am watching something else. 100% man. Just make sure you're not too, too, like, unfocused. Because you can certainly die. Um, I certainly would say streaming this content has helped me create a balance of not dying in here. So I can look at chat, I can do other things. Uh, and I can kind of predict the problems that we might have and make sure that we don't run into them, so on and so forth. How many guys have watched them side by side? Yep. That's what I heard a lot of people do, so it, it was really interesting to hear that. I remember hearing that for the first time, I'm like, wow, is that really what you guys do? I never I never intended it to be that way. I just, you know, I just had the content and just like, hey, here it is, like, you know, take the information, blah blah blah, but that's what people do and that has now become the thing. And I think that's just such a neat idea. It's honestly it's such a cool thing when you're when you put something out there creative uh, creativity wise. Like, you have a vision of potentially of what it's supposed to be, but in actuality, it will come down to the person consuming that data, whether it's artwork, videos, content, blah blah blah. And sometimes that interpretation is just different per person. And then it, it, it kind of manifests this, like, new way of looking at it, and I think it's so sweet. So, like, 
that's how one of the things that I learned from the videos, that people were having up one monitor, they were doing it on their monitor. Oh, I don't have the right timers up. Again, I apologize. I always do this to myself. I had my uh, variety stream stuff up. I'm bad. Um, okay. I always buy that first one. Oh, I got lost. Nice, GG. It's a deep dungeon scuddy guide, yeah. I'm just so grateful that people find it useful, you know? I'm happy that you guys are finding it good. I'm glad that it's helping you get the clears. So, hell yeah, dude. Hey, Fire Lily, thanks for Prime Gaming, I appreciate that. Fire Lily. Yup. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you for supporting the stream. And off to work, have a great night. Hey, Jim, Jim, enjoy work, enjoy your day. Hey, and keep me posted about that thing. Hopefully I can get back to you sometime tomorrow about what you just sent me, but uh, you yeah, have a good day. Alright, so uh, as we've been going along, we've been talking to chat, but nothing here is too extraordinary. Actually, we did run into Cobras. Uh, we actually ran into like one Cobra. I will warn you about the Cobras, which are patrols. If you Toad, when you're fighting a Cobra, they will one-shot you because they will use a special move called Devour. So fight Cobras very, very cautiously because they have the potential to one-shot you. Why is that a thing? Don't ask me, it is a thing. It's all you need to know. You Toad, you aggro a Cobra, you are 100% dead because it'll destroy you. But all my 120 plus deaths are not from looking, or from not looking at the screen. You gotta be careful with that, man. Death by, death by, uh, death by shiny. Hotcha. Doo doo doo. Alright, Nanka. Kill these off while I get to the chest here. Hugging the walls carefully here. All my 140 plus are dis I'm misclicking. Not using witching? Oh no, it's okay. You know what, you'll learn the lesson. It'll sink in and then boom, eventually you'll get it. No problem. It'll take some time, but you'll get there. Good old assault music. Love this song. You can't macro- nope, you can't macro Pomanders. I know that's been something that people have wondered, but no, you can't do that. Morbles just have a big bad breath, so just kind of either be on top of them or just kind of away from them. No problem. I found out the hard way that Wamora, Kampa, and uh, Icky Air Sores are doable without buffs and a no item for it. Yes. On Machinists, yes, they can be doable. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't worry, you know, when we did it last week, Lava Button, I was fighting almost everything. Um, actually, the only thing I didn't fight last week was an Anzu, but I fought everything, including a Frost Dragon. Just to demo what the enemies look like when you're fighting things. Um, actually, did I fight a Worm? I actually don't think I fought a Worm, but I was intentionally trying to fight everything. So we're going to do that again this week. We'll try to fight every single enemy that's available so you guys can see what they do. And you can make judgment calls if they if they seem easy or not. Um, Frost Dragon is not too bad, but it is pretty ballsy to fight one. You wouldn't want to fight one without a steal. Well, you probably could, but I mean, I don't recommend it. Be on top of someone with bad breath sounds like a bad time. Um, I mean, depends on what you're into, so... Maybe you're into that thing, I don't know. Strength came in. Look, I make no judgments for people and what their desires are. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, you know, some people's bad breath could be good breath to someone else. You know, it's a it's a subjective matter, right? I mean, someone could have minty fresh breath, but that sounds appalling to someone else. It's very possible. Maybe you're just allergic to mint or some something like that. You never know. No kink shame zone, yeah. 
Like, you know what's one example when I was in college? Is when, um, I would hit certain hours, and you would run into a lot of, um, a lot of people from, from India. Because in tech, it's a tech, I, I went to a tech school, so you, got, you had a lot of Indian, Indian tech uh, students. And they would eat, for lunch, they would have a lot of curry, you know? And curry is very potent, very pungent. For them, that's probably a wonderful smell. They're used to it. They're they're used to eating it, so on and so forth. Sometimes I kind of don't want to listen. I, I kind of don't want to smell it. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of don't want to be there for that. But it depends on your kind of subjective thoughts on the on the smell. This is what it is. Also curious if people even want from the new deep dungeon. Personally, I if you really want to go on rooms for Halloween generation, it'd be nice more variety. Um, the biggest thing I want is kind of a few things. One, I want the weapons to be blue. I need to have blue weapons. Two, uh, I would like them to fix the pot shirts and the disconnects, so we don't have problems with that stupid disconnecting. And then three, I want mechanically harder enemies and bosses, because the bosses are really easy. We've gotten so used to the bosses now. I want really, really hard mechanical bosses for the dungeon. They're capable of doing it, I know they can do it, so I hope they up the- I hope they up the ante on them, big time. You know, we haven't seen heavy solo content really in Deep Dungeon since Stormblood, so they've, they've definitely made a lot of strides since then. Think the Boja duels, think the Endwalker duels. So I'm kind of hoping that we get something really, really cool in that department in here. You know, to make- to really- I want- I want- I would like them to establish Deep Dungeon as the ultimate solo content, right? Like, this is where you get the hardest solo content. That's what I think it is. Now, whatever that means is, of course, depending on how they want, how hard they want to make it. But I want this to be the, the place where it's the hardest. Like, you'll have Criterion showing up, you have the Boja duels, uh, you know, you have the other stuff. You have Cape Westwind, of course, you gotta, you gotta respect Cape Westwind, but I want this one to be the, the ultimate challenge. Like, some type of puzzle, even simple one to move forward, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I just want harder solo for my content. PoTD isn't really for me. I love. Hey, that's fair. Hey, that's why Criterion. I'm, I'm not sure if you heard about Criterion real peps that might satisfy that need. And then also Yoshi P has said that they wanted to go into more solo content. Like they are going to start, they are going to start developing the game to accommodate for soloing. You know. So you're going to probably see it, and maybe Criterion is that first step into that. Um, we'll see. What you don't like? Feel, you don't like falling asleep during a survey fight in Hive Heaven on High? Not in particular, no. I don't fall asleep in the survey fight. I think the 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 skill of fight I fall asleep in that one's boring. I want more. Oh, actually, the Fenner fight's more boring. I, th I think the Fenner fight's even more boring though. I'm gonna cite here because I want the thing. Uh, Amen Deep Dungeon, we had to split up in four man groups and solve the puzzle the way open. No, 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 you know what's better, Nainarnia? You know what's even cooler, Nainarnia? No, maybe eight man, but also solo. You have to compete with your party. You go in, and you gotta compete with your team. To see who gets through the floors first or something. And like, if the race, if the team doesn't pull it off, then you like, you wipe or something or it becomes harder. That'd be sweet. I want more spread out challenge instead of big difficulty spikes for gatekeeping bosses. Traps that effect four. I want the I want no, I want gatekeeping bosses, dude. Like the thing I've been saying, Swig, that I wanted is for them to introduce the very first boss in Deep Dungeon. Like the level of like Lion from Boja. If anyone has done the Lion duel in Boja, I want that. Right off the bat, dude. And if you haven't done <laughs> If you haven't done, um, if you haven't done the Lion Duels, so there's two of them. There's one in the Southern Front, and then there's one in Zadnar. The one in Southern Front has Exit Flares, Twisters, uh, what else does it have? Misdirection, um, it has all those mechanics all weaved in, which is awesome. And then in Zadnar, you have Nidhogg Flames, Exit Flares, um, you have Earthquakes, uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's awesome. 
And that's what I want off the very first fight, and then they ramp it up from there. That's that's where I want them to start. That's how much I want this to be harder. Mimiku! Boja duels? What do you mean they're cursed? They're awesome! You know, I went- I did the Boja duels. When I did the Boja duels, I did all of them. Like, full mechanics. Basically, straight to Enrage. I did all the mechanics, and they were so much fun. Like, I know people call it cheese strat. I- I say it's speed strat, because look, it's an option. You can speed- you can speed kill it, but... Man, you do not have as much fun unless you do all of the mechanics. And I had a blast with the Zadnar fights, because we did all the mechanics. My- the- the- my most favorite one is- is the bog. When, in the later part of that fight, you have to manage the- the rotating turrets. The rotating flames on top of trying to plant, uh, circle AoEs while you're moving in motion. So you have to move down the middle and try to, like, stutter step, because you needed to plant those, uh, AoEs on the ground so you don't, like, you know, mess up and make, like, a terrible path or something. That was such a fun mechanic, holy crap, man. But if you're speed-killing it, you don't see that mechanic because you kill it too fast. Yo, Scorg, hello. Party splits up like DRS 1v1, boss would be nice, so by doing it solo, you could have to deal with other, other optional mechanics. As long as it doesn't have that penalty though, real pets. Like, you know what was, what was terrifying about the, um, the Boj, the, the one-on-one -on -one in DR, in DR Savage? If you, if you fail the duel, you're, you're like, you're like screwing your party over, you know? That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, it's a no king zone. That's right. I want to spawn in as Livia in the next deep dungeon. Okay. Uh, with or without a magic deck. <clears throat> Change my name and such. All right, Skurg. How do I say your name anyway? Scourg. Scourge. Do I go KV? We go. Oh, Scourge. Okay, Scourge. I'm not gonna remember that. I'll probably just say, like, you know, KV. Some boring. It should be without split boss mechanics, both split each boss with. You know what I thought, real peps? You know what would be a fascinating mechanic for solo real peps? And I don't know how people would feel about this. I'll say, this boss uh, will spawn uh, bees. We want to kill the bees. Sometimes I have. Um, Sometimes I have Lust here, like last week we did it with Lust, but I don't have Lust here, so it's okay. When the bees come up, I do highly recommend you kill it. Also, uh, you want to be using high potions. We've been getting high potions from the drops here, so if your HP drops, you have second win, which I can use, but use the high potions. If you don't have sustaining potions yet, use these potions, because you get them from the enemies and they're the best potions you can use. I don't need to use it quite yet. The bees are gonna come out here, so let's kill the bees. Um, okay, so the 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 thing that I would think would be awesome, real pets. Here we kill the bees. Uh, it's along the lines of the Epic of Alexander, where in Epic of Alexander, towards the end of that fight, you have to you have to see um, when you get the codex right, you see the the phantoms of your characters essentially doing the mechanics. I need to watch what the team, what your phantoms do, because that tells you what you need to do. So think of it in a solo format, where like you have like essentially three or seven phantoms, and you have to follow the phantoms in a way where like let's say they're like phantoms in a in a way where it it, it creates party members for you in in a in a fight. So it, it creates seven phantoms. And you have to understand which each of them do, like, maybe one of them does, like, an AoE cure, maybe some of them do, like, you know, the tank LB, something, something, but you have to be in those certain spots, and you have to watch what mechanics they do to then adjust to your mechanic, uh, to do your part of that kind of mechanic, if you will. I think that'll be a very interesting way of doing a solo mechanic. But it isn't like a pre it isn't like a predicting or a preemptive, it's more like, on the fly, you need to be in the right spot. So like, for instance, if you have to do like the chain mechanic like an ultimate now, right? You gotta make sure you're in the right spot so your phantom does it correctly, whereas you don't do it correctly, your phantom fails it as well as you fail it, and then you're screwed. Um, no, 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 like, like, a, like an actual, like, 
it's almost like the trust system where you have like other units on the on the playing field and they do things in the game but they're not like actual npcs they don't take damage they don't contribute to the damage or whatever they're just there but you still have to conduct mechanics Does that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense the best the best example i had was the t thing because you see what your what yourself what your what your what your uh person is doing what is up with the lack of strengths i've only picked up three this entire time all right so this by the way uh, one thing you'll see here is that I have alterations. I like to use alterations because uh, we'll show an example of why. Mimics and Corrigans will give you boosted XP. It's almost between 4 to 8 times the amount of XP. And so that means it makes you stronger a lot faster. So I like to use them on the first, second, or third floors and then we hold on to the rest of them. So I'm going to be using one. I also like to combo and affluence with them. Uh, one of the the logics here, and we don't really have a way of proving it. There was a JP blog that suggested combining affluence and alteration would increase the chance of a treasure room, but would also increase the uh, hold on, I'm you, would also increase the um, the possibility of the treasure room being Corgans or mimics. And that sounds terri terrifying to do a treasure room of mimics, but that's a lot of XP. And that means you're going to be so much stronger moving through the rest of the floor, so that's why it's good. Metal Fox, Chaos, Red Chocobo are going to be in the next deep dungeon, not ready. Oh, those are easy. The only reason why Metal Fox, Metal Fox is bad is because you can't see the, mag the, the bits. That's the only reason why that's annoying. Because they're like, it's like visually difficult to see them. Shame that disconnect, Rancher, Rancher but knowing you'll, ba you'll be back up there in no time. I think it gives... I was saying this at the beginning of stream, Rancher Wan. I think it gives a little bit more validity to this. Like, okay, we got to 193 last week, you know? Oh, you know, streamer luck. Yeah, he's got lucky going in with like three rages. But I'm pretty confident I can get right back up there. Right on the second file. So we'll get right back up there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I can do it. And that might give a little bit more validity to the fact that, you know, you follow the guide. You maybe try to do what I do, and you'll have some success. That's the whole idea there. And I'd like to think by now, even compared to that first tutorial that- Oh, the, really the second one. It's the first one. The first tutorial we put out there, almost six or eight months ago, you're gonna see how much better we are now, from there. You know, I'd like to think that I've gotten better over time, and more refined and more everything. So hopefully it'll translate and you'll see it into this run. And again, I want to stress here that we're not- I'm not going to talk too much about what every single enemy does. We'll talk about what, what the bad ones do. Um, and a lot of these enemies right now are pretty simplistic. Unlike the previous floor, you're not dealing with enraging enemies or special mechanics. These guys are pretty standard, especially if you're just hitting them one at a time. So something to keep in mind there. Malus. What if the new deep dungeon is 150 floors? I don't, dude. Just give me deep. Just give me deep dungeon. Just give me deep dungeon. What about a boss? I, you know, boss gauntlet would be interesting as long, but as long as the boss is a good swig. If you give me a boss gauntlet of the current bosses, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sleeping. I wanna fall asleep by the third boss, dude. <laughs> like, you know, give me a boss gauntlet of the six Boja duels. Oh my god, I would love that. Back to back to back to back, the six Boja duels, man. I'll take that in a heartbeat. God, that would be so much fun. Oh, if I could do that, if I could do that, like, if, if I could queue up and do the Boja duels instantly, I'm in. I'm, I'll do that, like, once a stream, seriously. We'll do, like, a poll. We'll do, like, what, what boss do you want to see today? We do that one fight, you know, one and done. Boom. God, I love that. Looks like we got Mimics. Okay, so... One of the things you want to be careful with with the Mimics, guys... First of all, we want to check our potions. We probably haven't picked up too many potions yet. We have picked up Mega Potions, so we'll go over to the Mega Potion. The Mimics here are going to be very difficult and they're going to hit very hard. I'm 37 and it's 43. So we want to respect it. Man, this is a good practice for you to work on the whole uh, Machina's kiting thing. So I did steal up to make sure. Now we're going to see the benefit of why the XP is going to be good. So this is what you're going to be doing on the higher floors. But 
We can handle mimics here, no problem. Infatuation, I do the I do the interrupt there so I don't get the fox. We're running, we're running, we're running, we're running. I haven't gotten hit yet. Now you're gonna see how much XP we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how much XP the difference is and why it's why this is worth the effort. I haven't even got hit one. I got hit one. Um. Okay, so we level up here twice or once. Look at this. This is where we started here, 2,400, 4,000. Look at the Mimic right here, 16,000. You can see that, I think. 16,000 XP. So that's why it's worth it being here, because you get a massive XP boost by, fight, by fighting E. Mimics and Corrigans will give the same. So by doing that, you get a massive XP boost, so it's so worth it. Wonder if we'll get new with duels in this expansion. I wonder, you know, maybe they put that content wallet in the other stuff. Maybe they put that content in Criteria. You know? Instead of putting it into... into... Um, into... into Eureka Boja. <clears throat> I don't know if they're thinking about doing something similar. Like, I don't know if they're gonna have, like, a, a, Bo a Eureka 3.0 or Boja 2.0. Things keep spawning. Uh, sight, I already used the sight. There's the Mimic, we'll kill the other one. So now we're 39 already, we're gonna get to 40 after this enemy here. Yeah, it's taking a while, I know. But we're getting that XP. God, I love Katissus. Katissus is such a good, such a good, just my one of my favorite tracks in, in this expansion right here. All right, so the mimic's all dead. We get another level here. So now we're 40 already. We've gained a lot of levels this way. Yeah, Mickey spawned, dude. Because we're taking so long to fight this spawn. So again, we're following the, the, the idea that I'm killing everything I see. Serenity, and we do have an altered room again, and we get yet more mimics. So one, two, three, and then we'll get more here. Three more here. Nice start to the mimic counter. And seven mimics already so far. Now watch your interrupt. So I'm actually gonna probably kill this a lot faster now. But we don't want to fight, we, we don't want to pull another Mimic, otherwise my interrupt's not ready. So what I'm going to be doing here, is I'm going to pull something else. This might be something that you want to keep in mind later as well. Uh, you want to definitely keep in mind of your, of your, of your head graze. Because if you pull the Mimic when it's not ready, you're going to take the box, and that might be kind of bad if you keep doing it. So now we pull the next one. We are 41 now, so this Mimic's going to get a lot easier. You're going to see that it's, it's just dying a lot faster. And that's the whole idea of um, getting stronger, getting higher XP because of this. Specifically why. And now we're we're even practicing the the kiting skill right here this uh, this late floor. <clears throat> Forty two now. Alteration again. I might use it again to get that XP going. Died at 184? No! Got no surrender. So oh my gosh. Had to do with no items. What job are you doing it on, Fluffy? I have a bad memory. You probably even mentioned it already. I already forgot. But what job are you doing it on? Oh, Reap. That's right, that's right. You did say Reaper. Yeah, no items on Reaper is really brutal. Like, I don't think I even dealt with that, honestly. I mean, 
I think what you do, you make it up by doing no. You, you do the other floors, like if it's a gloom floor or something, you try. But I mean, sometimes the game just gives you too many debuffs, so it's fair. Damn. Sorry to hear, man. Switching. Okay. Turtle on top of rocks, nice. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, dude. All good. I'll keep trying until they get it. That is the attitude I want to hear from you! See, one of the things I, I like to tell people, Fluffy Dream... You know, some people have this misconception of Deep Dungeon. Where it's like, oh, you know, if you just get good RNG, you'll clear. Okay, that's... I mean, I'm not going to necessarily... I'm not going to necessarily dispute that. People have gotten good RNG and they've cleared. But let me tell you, you do not get to 181, you do not get to 191, you don't get to 171 just because you had good RNG. You know what I'm saying? You get there because you earned it. You got there because you worked your ass off. And not to mention, do 5 runs, do 3 runs. And if you're getting to those floors back to back to back to back, Consistency. You've created consistency through something that is supposedly RNG riddled or only based on RNG. So you gotta take that into account. So Fluffy, you getting to 184, it's alright because you know what? That means you got better and you can probably get further next time. That's just how this game mode works. But you gotta believe, man. You gotta dig deep. Yeah, okay, 12 hours down the drain. But you just gotta go back in, you know? You want this title, you work for it. This is how it goes. Hey, yeah, we got some kind, kind, kind viewers in here, Turtle. Too kind. Turtle on top of rock, it's over. He has the high ground. Yeah, he has the high ground. Goodness, well, how can I, how can I compete with the high ground? Hell yeah. <laughs> It's a turtle! I actually use the witching here. Oh, that sucks. One, two, three, four. Where's my strength? Oh my god, dude. I don't know where my strengths are. I think I just picked up the seed file where strengths don't exist or something. I've seen three this entire run. My goodness. Alright. None of these enemies are too scary. A lot of them are mostly sights. Turtles, the Pyth, the Basilisk does uh, some Paralyze, but I'm usually too far away from that. Anyway, it's a hype song. Alright, a lot of turtles here. Oh, that looks like a treasure room up there. No, it's not. I, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. This song is so hype. Still killing everything. I'm gonna level soon so I can keep my HP kinda low here. I feel like the level of RNG in Palace is really low for, mo for as most rule legs go. When you... Seric, when you get used to this game mode, 
and you put your time in, yes. You definitely, it definitely feels like you have control over the RNG for most, for the most part. I mean, it's something, it's a steady theme that I've been saying kind of over and over a lot of times. Almost for the past year, year and a half, doing Palace of Dead, Sarek. The only time I've ever lost a Palace run, because it's on me, or my connection. Never really did I feel like in Palace of the Dead, was it like, oh, RNG just said no today. No. I always can see something I could have done better. I always can see some mistake I could have made or, or something that I did that made it happen. If you play almost close to perfect, no mistakes, minimal kills, you'll clear almost guaranteed. Like, it's really that simple. But of course, keeping the, the mistakes down to nothing, killing exactly the amount you need, well, that's not easy. That's, that's like years, almost like hours and hours and hours of understanding this game was to get to that point. Heaven on High, on the other hand, also Luxie, hello. Heaven on High, on the other hand, I can tell you for sure that I have died because RNG said no. And a couple of you guys have seen it live on, on Twitch. You know, we've, we've had, I would say, I've had, uh, I would say, three memorable runs that I've had where RNG just legit said no. No matter what I did, and I tried my hardest to control the palms, to try to get as many chests as I can, it said no. And those three instances were... Also, Minotaurs are sight, they're patrols. Centaurs are proximity, so they are uh, kind of annoying. The three instances are this, okay? First instance was when I was on Scholar. It took, it took me 25 attempts to clear on Scholar, by the way. It was on my 12th attempt. I walked into floor 97. I had two Magicites, one Petri. Floor 97. You're thinking, oh, that's a clear. I had two Serenities. 97 was a big room, no items. So, I Serenity, I Fortune Magicite, and I Safety. Because I'm not gonna deal with fake exits, right? So that's why I Serenity. I kill all the enemies, I don't really get any pickups. I go into 98. No items, big room. So naturally, I do another Serenity. And I do a Magicite because it's a big room, that's my logic. Big room, Magicite, Fortune. I walk into 99, no items. I don't have Serenities and I have a Petrify sitting in my inventory. That's it. I lost the run, that's it. <laughs> Like, where would you ever think you get a triple no item, right? With with what you had. And and you might be thinking also like, oh, maybe you should have used like a Petri in one of those floors. No, I've taught myself logically that when I get a big room, I Magicite. And in no instance, if I were to reverse time, would I ever change that strategy. Yes, in hindsight, yes, I should have Petrified. But knowing the way I formulated my strategies and my game plan, no way in hell I would have changed, I would have done anything differently. Done. Run's done. Second time was when I did Monk. I started the floor, I started the run at 21. The run ended on 88. I picked up zero Magislave. Zero. I didn't see a single one for 60 something floors. And I tried so damn hard to pick one up and I didn't get one. And that was, that was the run. <laughs> it's like, okay, whatever. And then the third one was uh, Scholar, again. Where like, I had been doing like 5 or 6 runs, we got into the 90s consistently over and over and over and over. And then this one run, I don't even get past 83 because I picked up literally nothing. Barely any petrifies, barely any any flights, barely any magicides, just literally nothing. And it's just like, I just, I just ran out of tools by like 83 and I wiped the run. It's just like, you know. So that is like pure RNG and that's what Heaven on High tends to do sometimes is that it gets a little radical when it goes to RNG. But Palace of the Dead doesn't do that to you, in my opinion. I, from my, all my experience in Palace, I've never seen that happen in Palace. I've had instances where I don't have a rage for like, you know, 40 floors, but it's so rare. And even then, that didn't, that didn't end the run. I forgot it took me so many tries in Scholar, yeah. And I could have been done with Scholar in 12 attempts. I had a run in the 12th attempt, man. But the game said no, not today. You gotta go 12 more times. I'm like, fine, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yoshi P, I'll do it for you. Oh, 
Uh, we're going through the killing, we're killing everything. I mean, as we're going along, I'm, I'm telling stories, but you can kind of see what these guys do. They're not too bad. Again, the only time these guys get bad if you're dealing with multiple enemies. Um, if you're dealing with multiple of them, they become a little trickier, but if you're going at them one-on-one, -on -one, they're not too bad. Hey, Suspension, how you doing? Oh my god, I'm not out. Let's go find more enemies, and I killed everything, essentially. Back to Red Mage practice. Yes! Red Mage! That's what I want to hear. Good luck on Red Mage. I can't wait till I go back to Red Mage at some point. Uno. Dos. Three. Four. Five. Six. Wildfire. Let's go. Do, do. Do, do, do. Alright, let's do uh let's do an affluence for the next floor. <laughs> I haven't done Palace in a month. I was thinking of going back to Astro. Sounds like a good sounds like a good entry job to get back into the swing of things, going to Astro. Aurora inspires lots of people. Good on him. So I'm playing Oceanic now. I don't have any I don't have any of my sustaining potions I three from them. Oh yeah, that's brutal. I mean my my sustainings are not great too. I, I used up so much when I was doing Black Mage. So I'm trying to re I'm trying to regain them. That's one reason why Machinus is the run right now, so I can kind of re-get them again. I like 2 3k or something, I forget. Oh, that's a good amount. I wish I had 2 or 3k. I'm gonna strength here, because we'll probably have it for the boss. I'm seeing a 150 so it's fun day for me. Gotcha. Oh, especially for Reaper. Fluff Dream. Oh my god, that eats up your potion for sure. But if I chance that I would lost the road to 80 already, instead I kept it till the service are filled, which won't be anytime soon. Gotcha. That's her. Hey. Whatever reason it might be, it's all good. It's a big ass room. Thought about a cycle, we'll just keep going. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Moving along. Hugging the walls tight. We might still step on a trap, but we're hugging them tight. few enemies that are not too bad, so we're gonna run with them. My level is starting to be on really high too, so there's that. do a steal and what we can showcase here is kind of machinist a little bit at its finest um we'll also do it in the next one since we have steel machinist can aoe it has a pretty good aoe especially because you can do it on the run um so it's pretty good
Sage. Thanks for it. Alright, let's do a big pull here. Oh, we gotta do a really big pull because we got treasure room. Let's do witching here. Gonna watch my HP here, gonna do arm plank. So this is something that we can you don't have to do. Uh, you know, why not? Showcase what machine is capable of. I'll do a second one here. We're gonna get some XP out of this though. Um also what I can do is I can do a reassemble spread shot. That'll crit everything. About to get a kill here. No problem. Got another mimic too. Hey, what's up, teammate? Hey, Mariko. Hello, guys. Good to see you guys. Alright, it's running out. What's this to my name? Switching. Strength. Ooh, got a strength. Okay. Does Witching change their health pull? Nope. Uh, just their damage. It'll just get affect their damage, but their health pull stays the same. One half, one half weeks more school, and then you're free of life. Is that what's gonna happen? Your life is free. Dude, this is completely unnecessary, by the way, guys. Like, this is totally unnecessary, but... I'm just being essentially showing off right now. Might have the potion though. I'm gonna potion here. It'll be fine. So here I did use the sustaining. Again, this is unnecessary. Like, this is just kind of unnecessary, but... Okay. Potion... Chest... Strength again. And he says the Godfather's melee. I can't seem to get him past no matter what. Hey, Sandfog. Um... Know when the tank busters are coming out, Sandfog? When the sand, when the tank busters are coming out, you gotta respect it. Either kites, have your heals ready. That's one huge thing you want to do on melee. If you're a reaper, pop your shield. If you have some extra mitigation like ninja, consider doing um, consider doing um, what do you call it? Your shade shift. So, I highly recommend watching videos. I have all five melee up on my on, on the YouTube channel. So if you ever want to see me try to do the attempts, you can see how I handle them. That might be a good visual at the very least. One... Two... Three... If my HP gets low, I do want to use Mega Potions here. Because Mega Potions are going to have a smaller recast than the other one. So 32 seconds for Mega Potion. My, my Super Potion will be a minute 17, I believe. So I can use two Mega Potions for the price of one, and it'll be a bigger heal anyway, right? Well, kind of, 840, but yeah. Watch out, uh, you got that sleep debuff? Yeah, I know. You could, you could give a healer heart attack, such a big pull. I don't got a healer, there's no healer to give a heart attack for, so we're good. Maybe we can keep up. Alright, that is floor 30. A little showcase there on what Machine is capable of in terms of the big pulls. Again, completely unnecessary. You do not have to do that. But, uh, you know, just showcase what, what, what Machine is capable of. Here in this set, we should get close to... Um, we should get close to getting 60. Because we actually do want to go for 60 here. 
So um, hopefully we will, and it'll make the final boss a lot. Uh, it'll make the 40 boss a lot faster. Again, we're still gonna continue killing everything. Alka, hello. Lizard, hello. That was enough to give me some stress there. Hey, I, I, I try, man. I try to keep things, you know, a little, a little exciting. Can't make this run look too, e too, too easy, right? I cannot wait to get back to 14 when finals are over and done, done with. You, when is the last time you're in 14? You probably got so much content to do, with teammate. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, get ready for that next deep dungeon, my friend. We got six, we got eight, seven months to it. <coughs> okay, anyway. Okay, oh, that's not bad. Okay, okay, that's not bad. You still get, you, you did get to end walk, this is good. Oh, I got, I got full strength. Let's do the strength now. Might as well. Also, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna expand the alterations again for extra XP. Um, we still are hunting down to 60, so getting the extra XP is going to be beneficial there. Ogre. I think one of the themes you're gonna watch me do is we're gonna pull very fast. It's gonna be a good ha habit to kind of pull quickly. So this kind of area right now where we're, you know, just pulling everything might be a good practice for for kill speed. <clears throat> Hopefully the new PvP will be still rocking by the time you get into it. I mean PvP is always a little bit of a problem with the queues once more and more people start dropping out, but hopefully it stays pretty uh, relevant for you. Is there a way to end a run without a score being recorded? Yes. Pull the cord before you uh, before you get a score. Uh, leave the duty. If you leave the duty, like right now, if I leave this duty, I do not get a score, therefore it doesn't get recorded. So it's a disconnect or purposely leaving the duty. Essentially, I guess another way to look at it, Rakurai, is that your score gets recorded when you visually see the score. Your, 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 your screen shows the scoreboard, and then you leave the duty with the scoreboard up, that's when it records. So if that doesn't happen, and you essentially cause the duty fail without that scoreboard showing up, then it doesn't show up. Does that make sense? Hopefully that's clear enough for you. Also, why do you ask? <laughs> Second question, why do you ask? What is your reasoning to this? Unless you're like curious about why your score didn't show up on a leaderboard or something like that. Now, another instance would be if you did see a score, a score on your screen. Um, if you got it today, it didn't upload yet. You'd have to wait till tomorrow for it to show up. Another one would be if you're if you had a score already but it was not higher than your previous one, it will not show up. So there's maybe all of the instances you can think of why a score wouldn't show up. Hello, Fubar, what up? Oh, I'm getting bangers today, let's go. Hey, how many times I've died to DC? Hey, I had it last week, Lesserat. We disconnected on, eight, on 193 last week. 193, dude. Yeah! And it's more- it's more so Lizarat because we were doing the live tutorial. So this was going to be on YouTube, it was going to help future runners try to get their clear on Machinist with the current, current, as current as you can talk about Machinist. 6.1. And I was 20 minutes from being done with that video, and my internet said, Oh, let's reset the modem. It's an excellent time to do it, so yeah, uh, great idea. So we have to do it all again. You know, but, but how I look at it, it's that people who missed the run last week, they get to see it now! I am here now, so we can do it all over again. Because people like the information, right? You guys like information, so we just do it again. Who cares? Easy. <coughs> deep, 
How rude of you spawning on top of me. I've never seen that happen in this place ever. Never has that happened to me. Did I get information? I learned that there is an Oreo cafe in my state, and I kind of want to go there. <laughs> Literally a store of Oreos. Like, oh damn, dude. Sounds like my kind of place to destroy my stomach. And I'll end up smiling after that. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. oh, oh my goodness, can I heal? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I got double smacked by the ogre, could have killed me right there. Can't be as destroyed as your roommates. Oh, I have no healing. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, I'm gonna be a little careful. Back to oh no, what floor were you on? Man, we were just talking about disconnects too. Feels bad. 86? Oh. I hope it doesn't happen to me. I heard I heard Aether was I heard Aether was hiccuping a while ago. <coughs> F Comcast? Yeah, that's what I've heard. The one FF11, well, one of a few FF11 songs that showed up in this game. If anyone played uh, Baldessian Arsenal, this was a this was a song in there. <laughs> All right, again, nothing too out of the ordinary to be talking about. Here's a nice little trap right around the door, just to give you an idea of where those are. Just moving along, killing enemies right now. Strength. We'll pick up another strength. Oh, that is not a strength! Guys, that was not a strength. I, I, I repeat, that is not a strength. Also, I'm incapable of hitting combos. Got it. Guess I'm gonna have to chill here for the night. Hey, hey, I got you, dude. Come on down, I love to chill. Chill is in my middle name. I'm missing a chest somewhere. Let me check this one over here. I asked just because I've noticed some strange POTD runs where people pop both. Hold on. Where people pop both the 4 100 solo and the 200 solo achievements in the same run, which implies they either did it in a single attempt or didn't log any post scores until they actually cleared. Yes, that would be possible. So here's, I believe, um, a scenario. Yo, Sire. Thanks for the six months of continued support, I appreciate that. Okay, so here's a scenario, Rakurai. If you are someone who is who has not obtained Lone and Lonely Explorer, you need to get a scorecard to get Lonely Explorer. So if you are about to die and you pull the cord, you will not get the title. Um if you disconnect, you will not get the title. So that is one reason why you don't get the achievement, so yeah. Okay, Sire, thanks for that. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good on your end. Moving along. Oh, we got more Mimics. Cool, I love Mimics. They're my favorite. Okay, we're aiming for 60. Once I get 60, we can go a lot faster here. Yummy XP. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure how much more I'm getting from the Mimic. I, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Alright, so we've been getting 13, 12, 11, 35,000! Yeah, that's, that is yummy XP, as, as the teammate says. That is indeed yummy XP. 
So it's times two of that one, times three of that one. Oh, hi, treasure room. How you doing? We'll do big pull here. Kind of witching. Again, just kind of showcasing Machinist here a little bit from the Tactician. Alright. So we're going to Spread Shot with, with Reassemble. With Reassemble Spread Shot here. Kind of heal here as well, Ricochet. I have Auto Crossbow, so we're going to use it here. Got my level. Okay. Auto Crossbow is strong. Boom. That's it. We're done. Let's go. Again, unnecessary, but it just kind of shows you what Machinists can pull off if you want to do stuff like that. Got a Rage late, but that's whatever. I did have Strength on, so that helps. Another alt room, we'll do yet another one. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get drilled soon, I think. There's drill, let's go. Time to murder. We got Corrigans, perfect. A lot of alterations this run. Okay, we have the exit, so I'm gonna backtrack to check the room behind me. Soon we're gonna be skipping, but while again, while I'm still- Ah, you know what, we can skip now. If you want the points, you can skip- you can- you can go for that room that I skipped, but now that we're getting so close to 60 with all of our XP, You'll see me start to go a lot faster. Again, this is more about just getting the clear. I'm not here for the extra bits. We're not here for points. We're not here for that. We're just here to clear. I just want to get you guys to clear. So this will be kind of a little bit of a faster format. Some, sometimes people want to just get up there faster. So we'll showcase that. Going for score is a completely different animal, let me tell you. But it is not this one. We will be doing that in the future, I, I guarantee it. Because it was one of my charity donation incentives to do a POTD scoring run. But that'll come in time. When was my last scoring run? Maybe a month or so ago? We did one on Warrior. I did a scoring run on Warrior, I believe. Is it Warrior or Gunbreaker? Oh, maybe it was Gun- No, actually it was Gunbreaker, I think, because my score got kicked off the board, and I did an Endwalker. So I had to do a new Gunbreaker run just to get my, my, my score back on the Aether board, and I think I'm like... third or fourth on Aether now? I have like a 1.86 1. 1. 1. million score. So, yeah, we got some points. More mimics. All right, cool, 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 cool. One, two, three, four. Wow, we're getting so many alterations? Man, the score runners are going to love this file if they ever had it. So many alterations. Alterations are a lot of points. 
per kill from the mimics, the Corrigans, you get a lot of points out of it. So they're really good to have on a run on a run where you're aiming for score. Strength, unfortunate, I can't do it because of the serenity. There's machinist at its finest right there. <clears throat> More mimics! Great. Three of them. I've had so many mimics so far, goodness. Look at all the mimics we've had, we had 15 mimics already. We'll definitely hit sexy after this. This is not bode well. No, we gotta have our we gotta have a tough run teammate. No, if you're if we want to make a tutorial about this job, we gotta make it tough. So if we can present the most dire of situations and show you how to get through them, confidence boost, huge confidence boost. <laughs> Damn, strength keys. These Troubadour, by the way, do a delay cast. So watch, watch the Troubadour right now. When he casts, I run through him. Will not take the. Well, I took damage here. Will not take the damage in the dark. So he did it there. I run through. It's just like little tech. It's not really important. I don't take damage here. I don't take damage here. Yeah, I have a little tech here and there. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Hey, by the way, thanks for all that support today. A lot of V-subs and a lot of gift subs. Really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are what keep this channel going, and I appreciate that. So sorry, low... Troops are low level cheese, they are low level cheese, up until you get to the high level cheese of the meme dinos. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, oh, there's my strength, cool. Nope, the, the latest floor they show up is 130s, uh, in the 131 set. 100 floors later they'll show up, but that's it. You don't see them later. You wish they did, but they're, they would be really easy, so that's probably why they don't show up. Too easy, too easy, too easy. So we're gonna be kind of converting now to like a speedrun format, guys. We're just gonna be looking for the exit and going. Um, because we don't really need anything right now. Palms we don't really care about. I mean, honestly, you don't really care about palms until like one, like honestly, till like one thirty. You don't care about palms really. I mean, I guess you can care about palms at like ninety one, and we'll talk about that floor how it is harder. Again, we're doing this. We're doing this in to update the current run. So we're gonna make a point on certain parts where they are changed for uh, the climb in itself. And when we step into even ninety, we'll talk about that. I'm not quite there yet. We gotta get there first. So let's just keep let's just keep keep climbing and keep moving. Pochon. It was that 100 feels way harder in the walk. Yes, it does it is way? It, I would not necessarily say way harder, but in the relative scheme of Palace of Death, it is probably the most noticeable difference in the entire 200 floors. Of how different that fight is, but yes, it is. It is different, and we'll definitely talk about that once we get there. Okay, to the boss. I speak of the whole thing in one resolution. Nope, you cannot. I used to push my lust all the way through Lezzarat, but we I uh, do a safer strategy. I, I dub it a safer strategy. A lot of people can modify it to make it a little bit more tighter, but we'll do a quote-unquote safe strategy for that fight. Just to make sure, again, we're looking for a clear, so we're not looking too fancy for things. I just want to make sure that you guys can have the smoothest way possible up to the up to the bench, or down to the bench. We're well, hoping the new Criterion will have comparable play. I hope so too. You know, I'm going to investigate it, uh, Rakurai. 
that is one of the things I am definitely looking forward to on my end, and, and uh, we'll, I'll, I'm definitely going to be streaming and see how it is when that patch drops. So whether or not it's good or not will be depending on how much fun I have. If it's fun, great. If it's not fun, then, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that is forty. Criterion, yes. Criterion Dungeons, a teammate, is going to be a new format of dungeons they are going to release. Um, I know you're someone who played WoW, so some people are thinking it's a little similar to Mythic Plus, but they have no description of what it is. What they did say, and the only thing we know about said, said dungeons right now, and I think what will be funny is uh, you guys can reference me back because this video might still be used if we if we complete this if we complete this run. This video will be used hopefully in the future uh, for people's clears, and this will be well after maybe like Criterion shows up. But what the only information we know is that it is scalable, which means you can go in with one, you can go in with two, you can go in with three or four. Uh, but that is all we know. It's all we know. But I'm pretty excited. I mean, look, you tell me it's solo content, I'm there, man. I'm going to do it, I'm going to stream it. Whether I stream it for the long term is questionable, but I will be there. Um, I only started doing POTD since Endwalker, and the Floyd 100 boss was the only boss I didn't I didn't beat in the first try. Glad to hear about Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Something we certainly have noticed, uh, Fluffy. Um, so, yeah. Did the Rally Glime start with the expansion pack? No. Not yet. A teammate, you don't have to apologize, man. That's why it's a good place to be here, because we can catch you up. It's all good, dude. Don't, don't apologize for that, man. I'll keep you informed. Dude, there's the exit. Nothing too spicy here. You do have Manticores that do patrol, but honestly, again, if you're handling everything one at a time, nothing too crazy you really need to think about, about uh, fighting stuff. Just cut through the enemies, get to the exit, you're good to go. Again, it only becomes complicated if you're fighting more than one enemy. Then it's like, okay, let's, let's kind of worry things about here, but, you know. Yep, Living Dead is great, I heard. Libida, hello. So you're catching up, I would like to know about Dark Knight, thinking on running it. Dark Knights. Dark Knight, you have Stalwart Soul now, which means you have your combo finisher for your AoE, which is pretty darn good when you're doing uh, AoE pulls. You have Living Dead, which now is basically like raw intuition. Every GCD you do, you heal back. Um, I don't know what the potency is, but just think like it's raw intuition. So doing a big pull with uh, doing a big pull with uh, Living Dead, you can you can make all your HP back. That's pretty much the major adjustments. I mean, it's AOE though is is a lot less though. They they drop the potency on Flood, but outside of that, it's it's in a good spot. A lot of people are pretty happy about it, especially Deep Dungeon for sure. Yeah, so the, the, what, the preliminary uh, information that I've gotten in terms of the 6.1 Dark Knight, 6.11 Dark Knight, it's that you can now survive an extra meteor because of Living Dead. One extra meteor, and you're, you're able to kill it already with what it is prior to, but you get one extra meteor, um, and it gives you just more, even more uh, breathing room to kill Behemoth. That's what I have learned. There's a lot of Manticore. 
My favorite types of enemies are the Manticores. They are always liable to kill me in the in Heaven of High, for sure. Is Dark the best tank? Eh, it's hard. To, I don't know. Warrior is too good, man. Honestly, raw intuition is just too too damn good. You know, every 25 seconds you have a benediction. It's hard to really argue against that one. They kind of implied we might get harder version of some solo fights. Like the, like the Xeno one, so it'd be interesting if Criterion Dungeon for like, conjuring memories of the past. I just hope they make it fun, that's it! <clears throat> I hope it's repeatable, I hope it's fun. God damn it. We gotta kill something. Drawn Tuition is a Benny? Well, it feels like a Benny. So like, if you pull like 4 enemies, Luxie, and you do raw intuition and you AoE, you're basically healing all your HP back per GCD, so it's like a benediction. It's something that someone said in chat one time, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds about what, what it is. <laughs> Agni, no! Rip. Sage of Warrior? A warrior. I mean, Sage is fun though, not gonna lie. Look at that- look at that Wraith just get obliterated. Wraith does a big AoE, but again, he's dead before he even becomes a problem. I was- it was a double auto crit that killed you too, otherwise it would've lived. Oof. Quite it here, dude. Because I need all CDs not to die. That's right. Uh, yeah, I do have world first POTD. That's right. I beat out Aurora. But Aurora got world first uh, Heaven on High. I snuck in there and got my world first on Sage. I got World First Reaper Heaven on High 1 to 100, specifically that category, and I got World I got World First Sage in any category. I'm gonna fight in this hallway because we could step on a trap. I'm playing a little bit safe here. Play Machinist without drill feels poopy. Yeah, well, it, 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 but then it is satisfying when you get drilled, you know? Hey Catman, have a good night, thanks for being here, I appreciate you dude. Hey, thanks for being here yesterday too, I hope you had fun with that stream. But I'll catch you next time, dude. How long after Peter came out did you know you were gonna try it solo? Oh, um, I was soloing it the moment it came out. Because the reason why, Terrell, is because at the moment it came out, it already had the leaderboard. And I wanted to compete for that leaderboard. You know, like, you put a leaderboard, you dangle a leaderboard in front of me, I'm gonna want to put my name on it. That's kind of how PvP was initially for me, too. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to, like, try the jobs out, I wanted to put my name on that leaderboard, try to be the best, but then, of course, it came out that, like, not a lot of people were doing it, so it was really easy to get on the leaderboard, you know? <laughs> so I was like, you know made my life easy, but then you had, you had at the time, 15 jobs to play with. So there's a lot of jobs to try out, so I was soloing. But it wasn't until like, Red Mage came out really, where it, it looked like it was realistically possible to get all the way to 200, not to mention they put in the achievement, um, and that's when I really thought about trying to go all the way. But initially it was simply just getting the name on the board. Like, a lot of jobs stopped at 180. I wasn't good enough to clear 180 on a lot of jobs, so you just basically got to 180, parked the score, that's it. It was good last night, I always had a blast hanging you know, I appreciate that, thanks for saying that, man. <coughs> Actually, I- oh, I got a pot shirt. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was silver chest for a second. Steal.
Hoping that the new deep dungeon brings more people in. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, Libita, it might be up to us. You know, I mean, I, I get, I am fortunate to have the, you guys watching the channel. I mean, we still, I would still say that we're kind of the premier, the premier location for deep dungeon. But honestly, it's gonna be kind of up to the community. Um, and we'll see where we're at. There's gonna be initial hype, but for that kind of longer duration of people doing the runs, for sure. Now I'm gonna do my best to also to also make sure that people see this content at its best, to see how cool it is, why we love it, you know, and hopefully the new one will be as cool as the old ones. We'll put a good show for people. You know, seeing all the hype for Ultimate right now, of course, it's not even going to be close to what Ultimate's bringing to the table, but man, wouldn't it be cool just to have that showcase? And it might come down to, like, it might really come down to what kind of content it is. I mean, if it's incredibly difficult to, to accomplish, if the mechanics are so damn hard, if the fights look so damn awesome, then heck, that alone would be enough reason for people to, be, to like, be enamored by it. You know, if the bosses are, like, super boring, like, like, Fenrir, like, imagine if, like, all the bosses are, like, Fenrir, from heaven on high, I mean, that's not, that won't be that exciting to watch, you just see me just roll a G-City and, and take like 5 steps to the left, 5 steps to the right. But if you got something crazy like the Boja duels, I mean, that's gonna be a fun watch in general, right? Not to mention trying to figure out how to clear it for yourself. Hey Ludo, have a good sleep, thanks for being here man, appreciate that. Not to mention trying to figure out how to clear it yourself. Um, so all those kind of combined, you, you, get to, you get to see that together. We'll see. I imagine they kick up difficulty for a bit. Um, yeah, you know, one of the comments I, I was I was hearing about, and and it, this is maybe common sense, but it makes a, it makes a lot of sense. It's that they understand that, or or you hope to think that they understand that players and themselves are getting better at this game. So you want to increase the difficulty based on that relative uh, increase of skill of people just getting better at this game. So perhaps they will look at maybe what we're doing in the Dungeon Solo specifically. How we've conquered all the jobs, right? A lot of us, uh, not a lot of us, I mean relatively speaking, it is a lot of people. Even though it's like 10 people who cleared on all the jobs and maybe that's enough to tell them, oh, okay, well maybe we should just try to make it harder. Um, and they've had four years to think about it, that's one of the things that I'm also thinking about, right? I mean, ulti, ulti took, what, two years to show up for a new one? They had all that time to prep for a new ulti. So four years of a deep dungeon? Hey, maybe maybe they are gonna create something really awesome for this, you never know. But all I gotta all we gotta do is just chill, wait, wait for it to come out, wait for the wait for the see the information and stuff, and then conquer it. I'm ready. We wanna practice heavy heavy on red mage, I'm gonna do it on red mage and we'll see what we can do. And we'll definitely and and you know me, I do like putting on a good show, so we'll put on a good show. I like making the plays, that's one of the things I love about gaming. I think that's one of the biggest things I love about gaming. Sometimes I make unnecessarily risky plays, but they're fun to watch and they're... They're just awesome, so I like it. Red Mage, Best Mage? Good. You're, you're part of the correct club. Four years and a whole expansion to potentially borrow ideas from tricky solo fights. Hey, I mean... Who, who knows who's designing it, right? Who's the guy designing it? Maybe he's watched other games, maybe he's pulled up other inspirations and stuff. I just would really hope that they've seen what the solo community has done to this content and we've ripped it apart, we've dissected this thing, we know everything about this content, everything about this content. And to, to, to maybe showcase the lengths in which we will go with this content. I mean the fact that we're still running this six year old content and people are still getting those clears, right? I mean what does that say? I mean yeah I know people are still getting UCOP clears and such but man this content? solo, and people are still seeking it out and getting excited about the Necromancer clear. I've got to tell you something, right? But you won't know until it comes out, so I'll say. But here's a follow-up and maybe a, a, a finishing comment on, on what we're saying, what we're talking about in terms of the potential deep dungeon. I think all of us who've been playing this expansion can agree that the battle, the battle inclusions into this game, from Pandemonium to the to to the 24 man to ulti they've all been smashing hits they've all been awesome uh i would almost say every single one of them has been really really fun and really awesome so just along those lines i mean you just would think that they're just gonna give us something really good you know what i'm saying
What's up, Phoenix? <laughs> hey, I know like people like Phoenix. If you talk to Sheila, who's streaming right now, if you talk to Sheila, she's gonna tell you she likes Phoenix. I love to see really difficult, intricate boss fights in the dungeon. I would too, Floppy. Hey, I can do them. Look, I may not, I may not have stepped into Savage and Ultimate, but look, I, I handled those Boja duels like a pro. I can do it. Challenge me, man, dude. I want to. You know, you know what would be sick. This, this is the other thing I was thinking, watching a little bit of Ultimate. You know what would be awesome, guys? If we climb the floors, you get to the boss. And, and and the boss turns into an arena, which it does. But what I mean by that is that uh, if you die in the boss, it doesn't it doesn't duty fail. It resets the instance. Not not reset the instance, but it's like you can repeat the fight until you time out. So think of it this way: What if you get, um, what if you have a fight where instead of it being between six and ten minutes, you have a fight that's maybe four to six minutes or three to five minutes. But they're mechanic heavy. They're crazy heavy. But if you die, you have an opportunity to, you know, just like a regular instance, you can just kind of do it, do it again, repeat it until either you clear or you time out. I think that'll be cool. You know, so it doesn't feel so bad when you're dealing, say, like, like that would kind of trivialize, say, a behemoth. Not to say you put it in the old deep dungeons, but imagine if you walked into behemoth with 30 minutes remaining and you die, but then, like, the instance just resets. It would also trivialize, you know, raisings and stuff, but... Hey, it would kind of it would kind of accommodate if you're adding in more mechanics into, into the boss fights. I think that would be kind of cool. I was... Dude, I just want a mechanic-heavy boss in Deep Dungeon, man. I want to go in here, and I want to make... Oh my god, it's this boss. I, I am ready for this boss, and we have, have to hard focus in. We have to game like we've never gamed before every single time I walk in here. The only time I ever have to do that in Deep Dungeon is like, Godfather. And it depends on the job, you know? Machinist, when we do when we do Behemoth later, on Thursday, that's the only time I really have to actually buckle down and care. But I just want that in every single boss, man, to be challenged so crazily in every single boss, you know? Aggie, you finally beat P3S after being stuck here for three months. Pog, dude, let's go. Congratulations. What do they do that but make the floors a lot harder? So you guys, you still got to get to the boss, but you're, once you're there, you're, you're in time. Yeah. I do. Just make it harder, man. That's all I ask for. Just make it harder. We've shown you what we can do. We've shown you what we can do in this contest. We've destroyed this contest. Make it harder. That's it. That's Edda. 50 down. All right, guys, let's keep moving. So here we're gonna start getting into those tight, like, uh, dungeon-y rooms. Again, what you want to do, maybe as a safety play, is you want to maybe kill in the hallways. You're gonna see I'm probably gonna move along the rooms, but we're gonna be doing it very calculated. Again, we're also gonna be focusing on the exit. So here I'm gonna fight in the hallways to kind of avoid the idea of a trap here. Sad story, Etta. The very first Reaper. You know you could have unlocked Reaper back in ARR. You just needed to put in the appropriate cheat code, but none of no one found it, so you had to wait all the way to Endwalker to get Reaper. What a what a what a secret that was! Holy crap! Why well, I would say lesser rat. Another way to look at it: if you if you clear Palace on an Astro, safe to say you own Palace of the Dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, even getting to the 190s, you're saying that you're that good at Palace of the Dead and you can take an Astro. That's another way to look at it. Yeah, it's difficult, but... To have the balls to take an Astro and get that high... Must mean that you're you're freaking good at the content. Kill Edda so I learn how to be a Reaper through Osmosis. Yo, Paul, dude. What have been the new Deep Dungeon? Instead of getting one shot when you fail mechanics, you get nasty damage down like the new ultimate. That's... I don't know. I think I'd rather just die at that point, Agni. You know, it's like just watching your time just get obliterated because you just got hit with a damage down. I don't know, man. Good, good, good thought, though. I wonder. Yeah. 
That'd be a takeaway to solve Tang meta. That's true, that old discussion we had about how to eliminate Ron Tuition out of the equation. Uh, maybe. I mean, you know what's another idea, Lake? It's to eliminate, it's to put like an infirmary debuff on, on people, but except it doesn't apply to items. So you have a debuff where it negates healing from abilities, but not from items. That could be a way to do that too, like a debuff like that. Since that's something too. Get with mech and lose serenity. Oh my god, that's brutal lava button. Alright, we're moving along these floors. Nothing too much to mention. Again, we're just trying to fight in hallways. I'm going through the exits. Um, probably the next mention of something important is going to be at 81 and when it gets to 90. <clears throat> we'll, we'll lightly describe some of the bosses and give you some ideas for the bosses as well. But again, you know, this is pretty smooth. Nothing too crazy on these runs right now. You just want to get through. We're going, we're going through pretty quickly. If anyone's able to keep up with my pace, hey. You might be looking at a pretty good run for yourself if you can keep up with me at these floors. said have, have, have healing ability? Yeah. I was thinking an enemy is ships buff but if you leave it alive too long or something. Well, you do have an enemy that does do that in uh, Heaven on High. You have an enemy that does strip a debuff uh, sh that cuts your, your, your buffs in half. There's like one enemy that does it. Uh, it depends on the job. What job are you playing, Sarek? I'll always ask because I'll always forget, but what job are you playing? Sure. Machinist? Okay, Machinist would be uh, no abilities, no items. That would be brutal. Um, Gloom, no items would be kind of brutal as well. Because uh, it's harder to kite on that set. Um, that's about it though. That's probably the the more common ones I'd probably take uh, take the thing on. It's those two. Like I can deal with no items plain. So like if you only get no items, we can fight through that. If you only get no abilities, that's not terrible. If you only get gloom, that's not terrible, depending on what you're fighting. Oh god, I hope you had a donut room. That don't the donut room will save you from gloom. Idle is proximity here. Uh, I'll just go the other way. Do 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 do. Oh, sight's good. When I fall, <laughs> I know we go blazing fast. I'm I'm accustomed to a speed run now. I've been doing some actual speed runs in Stranger Paradise, and we've been going pretty damn fast. So I'm 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 like built for a speed run. You know what I'm saying? One sand, but it was flighted. Fought through it though, sprint every pull. Nicely done, kill the jolt. I wish they had a blue to deep dungeon, maybe a couple levels, shoots really a couple floors. I wish they found a way, but I guess we'll see next deep dungeon what's gonna happen there. Raptor bot is hiding notifications again. Huh? Raptor bot sitting there. Oh, what happened? Did you do something? Did you resup or something? Am I still third? I am still third. I got a faster time though. Um, I got I sped up my time by three minutes, but Primera had a 155 and I went to 154, so I'm still third. I'm getting there.
careful when I move along here. She knows I'm trying to fight along the hallways and also along the edges. The traps can be pretty tricky on these floors. We've been lucky so far, but the traps can be kind of annoying, so you don't want to be too too risky. It is a little common to die on this on this type of floors. Wait, let's kill first. Oh, you get no when when is she? Oh, I see, 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 see. Eh, sometimes it can be finicky. You know how it goes. Bots, robots, they do what they want. It's a good song. I love this song. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do it again next week. I have, I still have a couple things I can try to do late, so we'll back in on Monday to try to add in some things and try to improve that run. I'm really excited about that. Alright, let's go. I guess we'll pick up that strength later. I do recommend, guys, and, and I haven't mentioned this before, so I'll mention it now. You'll probably mention it a little bit uh, a couple times in the run. Uh, don't pop a strength the moment you see it. Use up the strength, clear up the floor, get to the exit. See the exit open, and then pop the strength. A lot of people use it right away, and it's inefficient. Just think about the time that you've lost because uh, you used, you, you used a, a strength that could have just been saved. So get into that habit. Don't get too, too excited that you see something. Think about how to best apply it, best uh, make it efficient. The best use of it. So here I saw the strength on that first room, but I'm opening it later after we open that exit. Here I need to clear up the thing, so we gotta open this up. So now we get the strength over here coming in, and we'll have a fresh strength going in. And now on these floors, yeah you can be like, ah oh, whatever, it's these floors. We're gonna be through these floors very quickly. It's about creating habits. If you form the habit of doing the strength like that immediately, maybe you do it later, maybe you forget about it later. So form it now, get used to it now, and then you can make it work on the later floor. Exactly. Hey, hey me, any noteworthy tips for Reaper since I'm getting pretty- I'm, I'm into the pretty floors again? Um, n normal melee stuff. But definitely, uh, one of the things that, that made me go so fast on Reaper, Q Jade, was just abusing Egress. Like, like, optimize Egress. Teleport whenever possible, use that thing on cooldown. You will move so fast along the floors. And you'll see that, I mean, Egress saving you time on, on the movement, man, that, that adds up over time. Um, you can skip enemies, but it's more just traversing through the floors. Just pure movement. It's like ninja's ninja's uh, movement speed, something like that. Yeah, it's also excellent for kiting. It's really, really good for kiting. It's one of the keys to surviving mimics for sure. And it's what twenty seconds, so it's just a, an extremely useful useful tactic to to have. Um, I think you can you can zoom past a sight enemy if you do the dash. If you do the thing. Right behind their Kono, I think you can actually get away with that. I, I've done that before, um, but it's not always. It, it might also depend on the server tech sometimes on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's up, love kids? By the way, how you doing? You guys know the drill. You guys know that drill. Yeah, not proximity. Can I get past proximity? Seventeen mimics already. Yeah. 
soul flares are are jerks, but they're not that bad here. Actually, soul flares are always jerks in any game. They're so bad in strangers too. kills. That sucks. The trap was right here. This is where the trap was, right here. So, like, it's tight along that wall. Oh my god. High kill floor, 59. Also, you sprint a lot. In the lower floors, guys, you sprint a lot. In the higher floors, we're gonna use them for kiting, but hey man, you gotta move faster. Our machine is always full of ricochet. Don't lead, don't lead the new people astray. Not the 6.11 alkaline, the wildfire one has no effect, but certainly the potency increases, obviously. I mean, you know, getting more drill from 6.1 is gonna be good, but yeah, some of the potency stuff did help. Hit with low, low level floors or high kill. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to be later. What are you doing over here? Had a 19. So is that fast? I don't know how fast that is. Is that fast? I don't, I don't do that very often, so I don't know how fast that is. Go slow. I picked up two potrids so far. Actually, yeah, two and then Edda gave me a three. Okay, let's go to the exit. Before I add D's. Dang, dude. <laughs> yeah, speed run. Alright, this boss, shall we? This is exactly what you're gonna see in the one the 160 boss, except it won't be hitting as hard. Uh you basically just wanna get knocked back into a safe spot. Arms length does work, I'll show you arms length on the first bit. Make sure you're in motion to avoid the puddles. One, two, three, four. But I'll actually use Arm Clink later. Find an open spot, get pushed back. Fuck. That's a knockback. Look along the surroundings, make sure you don't get hit with those orbs. And then we just keep moving, keep fighting. Not too bad. Alright, so now I'll show you arm's length does work. Some people sometimes ask that question. So we're gonna arm's length here to, for knockback prevention. <clears throat> I'll tell you something though, once we get to the 160 boss, um, we will want to actually take the knockback intentionally. The idea here is that if you're creating distance from you and the boss, that's mitigation. The boss has to, has to keep up with you to get to, you to, to be able to hit you, so... You're saving damage like that. Um, something to keep in mind. Got song in the first run, nice. Alright, before we step into 61+, plus, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been wearing this all month. We have the uh, the GMG blue light glasses. Um, these protect you against blue light. I've been using it all month and they've been really cool. And actually right now, um, do I have the right command for this? I think I do. They actually, I believe it's 40% off for the next... Yeah, it's 40% off for uh, the next day. <laughs> so if you guys want the glasses, you get a discount on the glasses, but I like them a lot. Um, they help you, they help with the with the blue light and kind of helping you with like, 
sleep-ish, getting the strain on the eye. And since I've been using it for like a whole month now, I certainly can say that my eye, I have like no eye strain, so it's really nice. Does it protect you from the reflection of my own hoodie in my chair? No, because that's like, that's not blue light, that's better, that's like blue color, it's different. You seem, you don't seem, you don't seem like the type to be anti-blue light anything. I know. It's, it's, it's tough to advertise this because of that, but look, I assure you, my eyes are thankful. Don't have to get social glasses when your eyes are shit to begin with. <laughs> True. The only problem with these glasses is they're not prescription, but, you know, if you don't need prescription, they're pretty damn good. But yeah, check out the link if you guys want to try it out. Also, you are helping me if you get some of the glasses. You buy some, I actually get a little bit, you know, a little, little, little help there. Hey, Dubbington, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Alright, shall we continue? Let's go. Yo, blinded by lights, go. Blinded by lights, not blinded by blue lights. Because we have the glasses. I have the coating in my glasses, but I can definitely vouch for blue light protection. Yeah, some, some prescription glasses have blue light protection. But I have been going without glasses at all for a while. And I will say, like, I feel like it does really help. Like, like I have not felt an eye strain for a while. And sometimes I do get eye strains gaming a little bit. And, and, and you will notice, it's almost like, it almost is like sunglasses for the eyes. Because when I take them out, everything is a lot brighter. Uh, and as it should be, it's more vibrant, etc. But part of that is what kind of gives you a little bit of the eye strain. So... We're gonna pop the strength here. Sunglasses for the eyes. Exactly, dude. For the for your eyes while playing games. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm hating these high kill counts. Alright, let's blow up a dinosaur before it even gets to me. Pog, let's go. A lot of the- so you're in Dinoville, right? There's a lot of dinosaurs here. Um, a lot of them are gonna be sites, except when you start seeing like wyverns and stuff. But again, nothing too threatening if you're handling them one at a time. You just want to be able to manage the floors carefully. Don't step on the traps as you're killing things. It's always jamming. It's one of my favorite battle themes of all time. Raising, let's go. This is the first floor you'll see resolution as well, in case, uh... You guys are doing some deep dungeon trivia. You know, you, you guys obviously go to like your bars and clubs and stuff, and they have trivia nights. And one of the questions they'll ask 100% in trivia night is they'll be like, "What floor does uh, what floor does resolution show up in Palace of the Dead?" It's 61, and you'll look like the smartest kid in the room. You know. Oops, oh, I wish we could have those graded walls as partitions. I wish we could have the bench as a as a furnishing. I want to. I want the bench as a furnishing. Should we not in RP bars? We must. We must make this a reality. <laughs> okay. I believe I have blue light this for my prescription glasses. Yeah, my prescription that I used to use, but I don't really use them as much. I have blue light on them, like slight blue light. But. I mean, if you're someone who doesn't use glasses at all, I think this is where it's nice. Like, a lot of a lot of you guys do have prescription glasses, so, like, you wouldn't be able to really use these glasses. But if you're, like, someone who doesn't need glasses, whose vision is, you know, nice uh, compared to other people, but you still want to protect your eyes, this is a good option. Instead of just wearing whatever. So, something to take into consideration. Again, it is now 40% off, I believe, for the next two days, or maybe one day. It's a good discount. There's a Wyvern that is proximity over there, so it is one I want to kill. Uh, one thing that we will mention as the run goes, especially when we get into the higher floors, is we want to start killing things to make sure that we get to the exit clean. One theme that you want to try to focus on is killing just enough enemies. The exit opens, okay let's go to the exit. Anytime you kill past the exit, essentially is a waste of time. Unless you're going for points. If you're going for points, then sorry. 
but you definitely don't you definitely want to get into the habit of trying to kill just enough just enough and if you start having to kill like one two three four enemies after the exit is open think about how you could have made that more efficient see exits open but right there because on the later floors you kill an extra enemy it's like an additional one, two, three minutes on the run. You do it every floor. Imagine you do it every floor, nine floors. You kill one extra enemy once the exit opens. Goodbye, nine minutes. Goodbye, 18 minutes if you're taking two minutes to do that. That shit adds up, you know? So you want to make sure that you do it um, pretty, pretty efficiently. And that could just, that alone could just be a huge time save. My clear had three minutes left. You know, 57 is all good. Okay, so I'm gonna pull probably a Wyver here. Yep. I think overkilling, like, I think of overkilling like this. You survive every fight you don't get in. You, you survive, you survive every fight you don't get in. Yep. That's a, actually an interesting way of doing it. Yeah, that's a, that's a way to think about it, for sure. Hugging the wall tight as we move along this room. Yep, hey, it's, oh god. Okay, we're good. Okay, Wyvern's gonna go. Killing some of the extra stuff would have failed to run. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That stuff adds up, so be efficient. One of the maybe the the key things to focus on first and foremost of your own attempts. Analyze what you're doing. Aside from taking a while to make decisions, analyze how the kills are going. Okay, three minutes on strength, so not popping that strength until we open the exit here. Uh, hey cutie. You changed your name! Ari Pinhard, okay. I like the new name. How you doing? Any reasoning behind that? You don't have to explain. Sometimes there's a nice story around it, so I hope uh, everything was okay. You good? Okay. I gotta stop stepping on landmines, they're kind of giving me heart attacks here. It's your oh you are a blessing, Ari. Oh my god, can you can can you know how much of a blessing that is for Twitch streamers? Like not to not to make fun of you guys at all, you do what you want to do, but man, it is so hard when you have a different Twitch name and a different in-game name. Like I am not remembering. I'm already bad with names, man. I can't remember names for the life of me. You know? Dates and names, can't remember any of them. So just make my life easier, <laughs> please. I'm gonna kill this one only because I gotta pick up the strength he might turn around. Do we need to stand on landmine when we do raids? Do we need to stand on landmine when I when I do raids? Ideally not. So but my Twitch name is staying the same. No, I'm not encouraging you guys to change it, just understand that like don't feel bad if we can't if we don't like make the connection. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying that for like some like PSA of like change your name so it matches your in-game. No, just understand that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna freaking remember your name, you know? I'm never, like, it's just gonna be so hard for me to remember that stuff. And I already have a bad enough memory. Some of you guys already know that. How bad would it be if I changed to I am not Logan? I know, dude, I couldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to figure you out, man. <laughs> uh, I'm bad with names, and I do Muay Thai without glasses, I get it, so people, so many people confuse. <laughs> Ariana Pinhard, but I go by Ari usually. I like it. That's a, that's a nice name. So then I guess I'll just call you Ari now, because that works out, huh? I mean, unless you want me to call you Cutie, which is which is fine too. I could potentially do that. But... <clears throat> Alright, cool. Sounds good to me. Ari's good? Alright. Approved. What if all mods swap their names around? Uh, I hope you enjoy that for 60 days or so. What's the- how long does it take you to swap your names? It's like a 60 day venture or something, you can't do it for 60 days. You want me to call you Cutie? I'll call the entire chat Cutie, how about that? Get wrecked. How's that feel? <laughs> Get wrecked, I called you all Cuties. Susan? Damn, what if that is actually her real name? Are you kidding me right now? Hey, do you guys see that the, this crocodile has eyes in his mouth? Can you imagine having eyes in your mouth? 
seems like like really inefficient to like exist. You see that? Do you see their eyes right there? See that? See? There's, there's eyes. He just knows that. Yeah, it's not very obvious. And neither does games. Thank you for all your help, Senpai. Still loving your content. That is two Twitch babies in those games. Thank you for continuing to support this channel for 18 freaking months. I appreciate that. What the hell did he just say on Lurk 2? This is it's a crocodile. It has eyes in his mouth. I mean it's it's like it's the same thing as the some people don't realize the hands in um the hands in Heaven on High. Those those uh claw grips. It, dude, maybe take a look at your mouth. Some of you guys have the claw. Don't you guys have the claw mount? Their their face is right in the middle. I don't know if the claw mount has that though. But the enemies in uh, in Deep Dungeon, their their eyes are like in the palm and their mouth is in the palm. That's why they're sight. <laughs> that's not why they're sight. But that's why they're sight. Yo, what's up, Gabriel? How you doing? As you can see, who you're yelling at? True. The pterodactyls are proximity, so you definitely want to eliminate them first and foremost. Looks like chests here. Reason. Mixing some HUD for my for my guard here, kind of suffering. How's the keyboard going? Is it working? Hopefully it's working. What armor is that that I'm using? I am using Eureka Glam. I think it's mostly Eureka. I think maybe the boots and the the boots I think are not Eureka, but this is Eureka. So the I think the pants aren't. But yeah, the gloves are Eureka because they glow. The body's Eureka and the hat's Eureka. Um, this is Elemental Gear from uh from Hydrados. 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 Keyboard hard AF. What do you mean? So easy. I just checked since I am fake riding in the game. You're right about the clock. The clock. Does it have? Does it have? Yo, Boreas, does it have the face in the in the on the mount too? That's hilarious. Did I freak you out? Are you gonna use that now? Are you just gonna stop using? Cause you, like, cause the claw mount is just looking looking down upon you every time they pick you up. <laughs> you... Have I have I scarred you for life? I want the bronze chest. I'm gonna pick it up. So I have nightmares from grinding it. I don't have nightmares from grinding it. I I enjoyed that grind. Probably armor. Gotcha. Aglia. Can't do the thing. Where's the exit? Four sixty nine, let's go. Steel. I'm currently grinding out eight crafting tools back to back. Is that the achievement ones? Dude, I have to, I still have to do crafting and I haven't done it yet. Let's try. It. Okay. Again, we're gonna use the strength once I'm out of here. And we should be out of here at this. I mean, yep. Did the Savage of Craft thing? Yeah, I think I have them. I think I did get them. I just don't remember them anymore. They're the ones that require you to do the expert recipes, right? You have to do expert recipes to do the thingy. I think I did all of them. I think my only complaint was that the uh, the Carpenter Relic wasn't um, a chainsaw. Like, I, the chainsaw for Carpenter is my favorite, favorite, favorite tool. 
but I think it's just a regular saw because the chainsaw have batteries and it is a literal chainsaw and I think it is the coolest tool that exists for Carpenter but I'm really upset that it isn't a relic. I mean they already put glow on the relic they may as well uh, they may as well give it to the chainsaw you know. This enemy just does a uh, kind of a big cleave into the puddle. You want to make sure that you take it out of the puddle. Uh, I'll also demonstrate something kind of cool that most people will not know. And we were demonstrating that, I think, on the on last week on the boss. So first of all, here's the puddle, this is Dao's. So here what we want to do is we want to time our sprint on this. So we'll have a big heavy. When we sprint, we will avoid the Electrogenesis coming in, which is our strategy for the 170 boss. But here's something that you may not know. Most AoEs on the ground are usually bad. But this puddle does nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. It is only a buff for the boss. So you could run through it, you could stand in it, nothing is going to happen. Do not worry about it. Um, it looks pretty on the ground, and that's all. So you don't have to avoid walking into it, you can walk through it. Like here I'll walk through it and we'll make it kind of park a new puddle on top of it, like that. Which will be a strategy we'll use in 170, but it's just to kind of showcase that because Little little itty bits of, of cool tidbits are always nice to know. Don't torture me with the thought. Follow. I want E W D O A D O. Oh yeah, I want that too. But I want a chainsaw. Give me a chainsaw. Just please, g just give me more chainsaws. Like I don't know why Machinist has anything else. All right, that's 70 down. We go into 71, guys. Uh, 81 is where we want to kind of mind it just a little bit. The, the 90 boss does get a little bit harder, but. Curate. Side enemy targets here, they just do double attacks. We'll talk more about them later in the next in the next video. Nice trap. Safety. I love getting a safety after I hit a trap. Best best timeline. Page, guess we'll use that. Onward. Funny well, started doing POTD, just got max to full. Hollow, let's go, hollow, welcome to the grind, let's go. I'll race you to 200. <laughs> we'll see who gets 200 first, let's go. How could you turn down that challenge? Strength here. With the, with the tunes of Bismarck. Reassemble. Alright, so we have Anzu. So interesting thing here about the Anzu guys. If you're familiar with the Anzu in 171, you're familiar that they should belly flop. Anzu do not belly flop until they are at low HP. So it's about 30% that they will belly flop. So what? I can sit here forever. It's not gonna belly flop. Let's give a, let's give a crap. In the lower floors, it is a it is an HP thing. So we'll just auto this thing because you know I have, I have nothing to do in my life. 36 right now. Let's we'll see where it dips. We go to 31. We go to 20. There we go. 30% is when it does the belly flop. So. That might not be pertinent information, especially in a machinist run, because you're again demolishing enemies very quickly, but hey, it's a little bit of knowledge to have. I've seen people die to this thing before. So you don't want to take that for granted. So what you want to do if you're fighting Anzu is maybe save the drill for later, like finish it off as like a kill shot, so you don't have to deal with the shenanigans of it, so something to keep in mind. Max pull is first step to addiction. Yep. We do in force tonight. Hey, yeah, we are Alka. Trying to explain things here and there, but we want to go fast. You know, sleep's pretty good. I like sleep. 
but it also can showcase how fast you want to go. I think it's a nice theme to, to kind of push forward, a nice agenda to talk about. You know, a lot of people complain about those fluff floors, and especially if you're going on attempt, you know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you gotta get through these floors all the time. So to see how fast you can go in a speedy manner, at least it showcases, hey, at least you can try to get through these floors fast. But you can do it carefully, you can do it where you don't die, that's what's important, because going so, so fast, but then dying in like, 86, man, that feels so terrible. It's like, such a tragic feeling. So you kind of don't want that to happen, you want to make sure it's clean. So you kind of inject a little bit of speed, but at the same time, you make sure that you're a little bit more careful. You can try sub- <laughs> You could, you could, Jason, if you want to kind of go for world record, yeah, you could. Is that what you're gonna do, Jason? You're gonna do a thousand runs to get to sub sub eight or something like that? Look at that evil trap. That's right. Uh, Joe Ross asks, will DC travel on its way? Did they address how it affects scoreboards in Neat Dungeon? Uh, like, will you be able to travel crystal and score there? You can't travel to another world and score. I highly doubt you can travel to a DC and score. So more than likely you can't. But... Big Fish is your passion? Gotcha. Found the exit. Just mowing through these enemies trying to get to the exit. Oh, we're out. Let's go. Can't use the raids because we had no knockback, so it doesn't really matter. Hi, have a good night. Okay, Lake, did you say part two Thursday? Yep, our usual schedule Tuesday, Thursday, so Thursday should be the continuation of this lake. Have a good night. Trying about 11 months for necromancy on off out of 100 of attempts, almost every single one ended sub 100 because I tried to save a couple minutes, wipe the big pulls. Only recently I learned saving two minutes is not worth potentially losing. Yep. Yep, 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 I love Zeus. I completely agree with you. That is that is the conclusion I came to, I love Zeus. In the early days of my palace climb, I would go quote-unquote quicker, and then take more risks. Like, okay, maybe we can just like run through this room, maybe we can do an extra pull here and there, and then you end up dying. And it feels so terrible. It's like you just wasted, like you said, like one, two, three hours. It's like, well, I could have just gone two minutes slower and saved my damn run. But... Nowadays, because of how much I've been doing it, I, I certainly have created a balance with that. Like, it's very rare... I don't remember the last time I died on the lower floors on stream. Like, died, died, not DC, not, not like, like, straight death. That probably was like maybe a year and a half ago that happened. But we've gone through here how many times? Every single week we were going through Palace. And I get to those floors every single week. So it's something that I certainly don't take for granted. But you gotta try to translate that to your run to make you understand why that works. Does that make sense? I mean, limits can be pushed, especially if you're going for scoring runs and stuff, but... If you just want to get that clear, it's important to have a consistency. But we certainly have created a consistency on my runs, for sure. This is being nice this time. It's actually not repeating songs, but watch the repeat songs after this one. Taking the Domel with me. This is a safe room, so we're not, we're not worried about uh, Agra here. 
I'm gonna wait to kill this first before I check the chest in case it was trapped. I'll kill a lion. Alright, let's continue. Check the chest, that's a steal, we'll pop it now because I might be going to the exit. See, in this part, I didn't open the exit, okay, fair. But I'm going to an area where the exit might be, so instead of having to run back and all that stuff, a little bit more efficient just for me to pick it up and then go to the exit. So there's kind of a on-the-call basis of when you need to use, when you should use the palm, when you wait or, or something like that, but... Man, I do not have that song in here. That song is not in here, so you'd have to pick another song. I wish it was in here, but that had given me issues on YouTube, so I cannot play that song. I really wish I could. Yeah, um, unfortunately it did trigger copyright on YouTube, so I can't use it. I actually have almost no battle themes from 7 to 10. So like, let the battles begin, not in there. Don't be afraid, not in there. Um, Man Machine Gun, not in there. Um, Battle theme 1 from from uh, FF9, not in there. And the battle theme from 10, not in there. I can't use them. I wish I could. But all of them triggered copyright. And it made sense, I guess. I mean, they Square Enix did release their um, their online music library, but it's, the, it's those common battle themes that they trigger. It's also the same. I don't have any Octopath music on my thing, because every single Octopath triggered copyright. So right now the playlists I have are songs that have been showing me that they don't trigger copyright at all. Um, and I've used them multiple, multiple times and they're still good to me. Now things have changed in the future, but as of right now, they're good to me now. So Bird of Palace is uh, interesting. It has an AoE called Res Res Rev Revelation. If you get hit with Revelation, it will give you a 30 second Hypnotize. You're essentially going to die if you cannot control your character for 30 seconds, I think it's actually confused. Don't get hit with that AoE, for the love of god. You're probably just gonna die. Would you always use alteration on tanks, range, uh, risk of mimics, because you're just blocking path the exit high force? Yes. Uh, with, with having, making sure I get a rage. If I have zero rage, Agni, it becomes a questionable decision. And that really only shows up in 191, but that does cross my mind. Like, okay, what happens if we get a treasure room of mimics? If I had a rage, it, it might be worth it because of the potential regain on palm enters. If I don't have a rage, having to deal with the treasure room of mimics is a big tragedy. And I will stop using alterations in like 191 because of that. Yeah, don't get hit with it. It's certain death even on the lower floors. Uh, Lizarat, it's it's almost guaranteed death even on these floors. You just cannot control it. Not to mention he's gonna spam it and like reapply it. So it's just really bad. Well, I hope I hope that made sense logically, Agni. Again, it's it's a guideline. It's not a rule. But my logic, that's what that's how I'm thinking about it. It's like okay, we get a treasure room mimics. Whatever, I'll just rage out of here. We'll, we'll run the bet of maybe picking something back up to make up for that rage. Because, what, you get like 11 chests or something, right? Potentially. So, but that's how I think about it. That's my decision there. Mr. Cynic, hello. Have you uh, restarted your Dark Knight run? Hope the information that we that that uh, Chila gave on Sunday was good. The bad debuff combo strange for bad. Yep. No knockback treasure mimics evil. But again, I think it's still worth it. You get the rage, you get the palms, you know, I think it's still worth it, but it just depends on what you consider worth it or not. No, Cynic was doing a Dark Knight run. We were talking about how to deal with the 120 boss on his end. 
I spent my Aether Pole and Reaper Sight to build. Okay, 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 okay. The Reaper Sight is a common one. Absolute Paradox is round two. It is absolutely round two. You got that for sure. We have a Bird of Paladis, a uh, Bird of Palace that did spawn here. So I want to maybe take care of that first here. It is probably the more deadly one because the AoE, which will come out right about here. There's, there's Revelation. Do not get hit with it. Otherwise, I am just going to die, period. Okay, cat. Blue, no knockback damage on Mimic Treasure Room. Since and Serenity. So there's, there's so few options in the Palace site fits the POTD set, a uh, PvP set so perfectly. How's the, um, Cynic, how does the, uh, the Wolf Caller site look? Is it pretty good? I would imagine that's a little closer to the Palace of the Dead one. Do you know what I'm talking about? I like the new craftable Thordian Reaper Scythe. Craftable Thordian Reaper Scythe. Oh, I can't open my crafting menu again. So the same priority. Ooh, yes! You know why? Okay, so what did we spawn? What did we spawn? What did we spawn? What did we spawn? We spawned a Wissant, we spawned a Cat, and we spawned a Bird of Par Par Paradise. Um... Oh, I just took the dot. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I might die. Okay. I didn't get the... I didn't get the, uh... I lost that. Um, so... Well, honestly, that's an immediate witching. So what you would do is you do a witching first. I think the first thing you want to take care of is the... Um, is the cat. Because of the paralyzed. Because imagine the worst case scenario. You get paralyzed into revelation. Big effing yikes, dude. So I would recommend probably uh, do the do a witching first. Take care of the curl first. Curl goes down, then the bird of paradise, and then the whistle. Because the bird of paradise, even though it has res res revelation, you can probably kill it in 30 seconds because the whistle will do its soft and range at 30 seconds. I'm making a mess of this right now. This is not a good example of how to do this fight. I'm just kind of just talking and hitting buttons right now. And I will chalk this up to how not to do this fight. How about that? This will be a this will be a don't do it like this way. So that when you watch this, you're like, okay, I won't do it this way. Well, the worst thing that can happen, absolute paradox. If you do not drop the Bird of Paradise by the time the Wissen does his Enrage, the Wissen does give you a heavy weight movement. So unless you're sprinting, you may not dodge Revelation. Revelation drops, you're at, you're at minimal movement speed, you might be screwed. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure that you take it out. The Wolf Caller Scythe is just okay in your opinion. I like so okay, 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 got it. Yeah, I didn't know how it looked, but I knew it had like a reddish kind of vibe to it, Cynic. So I, I don't remember how it looked. Alright, that is uh, Floor 80. A little messy Floor 80. But at least I can show you that you can try to recover. Alright, how does that Thordian Scythe look? So let me bring in the in game music here just for a second. What's it called? Is it round? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sickle of the Round. Try on. Oh, whoa, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I still kind of wish it was brighter though, but it's not bad. It's kind of cool. How's, how do you think of that, Cynic? Does that match your stuff or no? Are you going kind of? You, are you going for like the red theme? It's kind of cool. Oops. Uh. Gunblade. The gunblade's not bad. Uh, 
Um, yeah, lol. Hope the guy goes well and helps lots of people. I hope so too. I mean, the one that's up right now... I hope I said your name right. The one that's up right now has helped many, many people. And I wanted to do a new one just to, just to update it, you know, for the current stuff. Because I, you know what's the common one I get on that video right now? The one that's up right now for the Shadowbringer? What happened to the 100 boss? It's so much harder than when I did it. Did something happen? Common question. And I did put the link to um, the the new uh, Endwalker version of the 100 boss. Like, I have the link in the video, or in the comments, but I can't expect people to read the description. So I'll just make a new one. I am going to keep the old one available, by the way. Um, we won't. I won't unlist it or anything. I, I think I'll keep it available. I think. Maybe I'll give it some time and then we'll post the new one. Um, we'll see how the new ones get traction and then probably move it over, so... Yeah, people don't read the description. I don't blame them, though, unless rat. I, I honestly don't. I mean, I could put cards and I could put end screens and stuff on the video to make it better, but I'm lazy. I, I honestly should do that, to be fair. I'm sticking with red and black for sure. Got it. Got it. If you have uh, AL Surecast, you should be able to void slow. If you have AL... If you have Arms Link and Surecast, you can void slow. Yes! You are correct, Lava Button, if you time it correctly. But if you're managing three enemies, you might forget. So just to kind of keep that in mind. Soon the description will will all go away of the dislike. Oh, like it just doesn't isn't isn't there isn't in there anymore. You know that you can raid if you if you stream on YouTube Live, you can raid people now, just like Twitch. I mean, if you're not checking the upload date, hey, I put in the title. It's like I put in the title the patch note. I believe in the title it says like 5.3 or something like that. Like I I I put the patch in there. But it's not it's not clear enough. I don't know. I don't know if that's my fault. I, I should make it more clear, but you know. You gotta accommodate to the gamers, I guess. Alright, you want plus? Okay, the bigger the enemy, the more HP they have. That is a rule of thumb. So by pulling this uh, dragon, he's going to take a lot of damage. Yeah, I might unlist the old videos. Because they're honestly irrelevant. Now they're still great, but I might unlist the old ones when I get the new ones up there. Oh, that chest is uh, really blocked out. I'm just gonna ignore him. Unlist, but have playlists for legacy guides. Yeah, well, like, the the playlists do exist for, like... Like, I remember when I was asked to do them and split them into sets of 10. So that still exists, too. So the, the playlist does already exist. Uh, I don't know on these lower floors. That did cross my mind, Agni, but I don't know if they do it here. It did cross my mind, though. I mean, it's not really... I guess it would be some knowledge, but it's not that important in these floors. At least if they're still in the playlist, that's public. People can look for them. Yes, uh-huh. But, you know, essentially, I would want to reroute everyone to the new ones, because essentially the older ones are, are, are just going to be irrelevant. Unless, of course, we have, like, a sick run where it's just, like, nothing happens, and then we just go to 200 and you don't learn anything. Like, that's going to be bad. Um... But, you know, we got through some descriptions here so far. And of course, this the meat of this description is going to happen around here. This is where you'll have more things that need to be talked about. Especially once we get to the bomb. And then walking into 91+. Plus, which I'll, I'll, I'll discuss a lot more into detail. And of course, if you guys have questions, please ask them. A couple of you guys have asked some great questions already. So you're... Just think of it this way. You ask a question about Deep Dungeon. Uh, yes, I'm answering you, but you're also potentially answering someone else that could be watching the video. Something they may not have thought of, or something they did thought think of, and they're incapable of asking because, you know, they're, they're watching it. I'm, they're not, I'm not live. Um, and the Machinist videos are... I mean, the Machinist videos got a lot of traction because, you know, certain people watch them. And by certain people, I mean not just a specific individual, but a number of individuals watch them, and kind of spread them out, and even watch them on their own streams. So they got a lot of traction. Um, 
So I just hope the newer ones will be a good one for people to, to get into and all that stuff. Do a quick shot of my Reaper and screenshots. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'll take a look at that after stream. Thank you for that. Tea time? Tea time? I mean, tea time. Is there rage over here? Oh, the rage is over here. Oh, wait. Oh, no! Wait, did I want to do that? Is that what I wanted to do? Oh, and Yakwa, thanks to follow. I didn't realize you followed. I appreciate that. So I must have missed it. Oh, you know what? That was probably doing me like messing up Behemoth, so I missed it. My bad. Come on, I want all the brown chests. Give me all the brown chests. Hey, hey, Siren. Funny I can catch you live paying for this no DC. I know. I hope not, man. We'll see what happens. You never know what the what the world has in store for me, but we'll try my best not to get that disconnect. Got him. <laughs> Little tech there. Getting the silver chest as the enemy was low to get the quick kill. I don't really recommend it on Machinist, only only because it's unnecessary. You have enough damage to make up for it. That's a healer tank strat. I showed it to you, so you know. Why not? There you go. Enjoy the tech. Yeah. You gotta be really sure about what you're doing. You gotta make sure your HP's high enough for that tech if you're gonna do it, but... It's there! It's not like it doesn't change. It's, like it, it's not like they disable it for machinists. It's just not worth it in my opinion, but... There, there you go. Goody. Hopefully we have enough kills here. I know I had one more here. Nope. Maybe we get lucky to mimic so I don't have to run back. Nope, shank steel. Okay, that's not bad. Oh hi, thanks for walking over here so I can get a kill. Wow, how kind of this ogre. <clears throat> He's like, hey, did you need a kill? I'm like, yeah, I did. Thanks, man. Oh, I need another kill though. Damn. He had the last laugh right there. My only regret with Necroclear was not trying to landmine. Landmine a fashion? <laughs> Why, did you hate them that much? Or did you have the opportunity to do so? Okay, let's go. Steel and strength coming in. Do it at the end of the floor because it's near the exit. Kept sneaking up on you. Oh, the fashions like the mimics, uh, like the manticore for you. I usually don't get caught up with fashion, although they did kill me on on scholar at one time. Pushing. Oh, that's chest room. Where's the exit? Okay, it's on the left side. So here's a small example of how we can handle the treasure room. You want to make it efficient so that exit's on the left side. So let's kill around the exit. I don't really need to deal with the stuff on the right side. We just gotta kill anything that could potentially aggro, and that's around the exit, so, to make this as efficient as possible. 
I think it took me dying to every mob 90, 91 plus before we clear. Hey, that's something I say, Siren. Um, if you die to everything at least once, you run out of ways to die and then you just clear. Nice dragon, thanks dragon. Hope you like the drill up your butt. Uh, Neko99, hey thanks for the follow, welcome in. Appropriate name for the content. Okay, we need another kill, but I'll kill something soon. That's fine. Oh, I did that by accident. I was targeting it. I'm gonna walk here because I'm gonna check the chest and uh, the worm is... Um, is sound, so that's why I'm walking. Drills a nuke at this level? It's a nuke anytime. I had permanent steel pretty much on the floor, they started showing up so they weren't that bad. Oh yeah, with steel they're not that bad, yeah yeah. Absolutely. A lot of knockback disabled. Switching. Knockback disabled again, if you have rage you can't use it, so you have to watch out for that. Make sure you take a note of it, because it is a big tragedy when you try to rage and you didn't realize it's not back disabled. That's that has ended runs. Let me tell you, I have certainly lost runs like that myself. So be careful about that. Steal. I just use it. Wait, I just use steel. Oh, I was supposed to use Apple one too. Re Astral does like 35% of the mob. Yep. Re Astral does that for sure. Yeah, that's a big tragedy too, for sure. Oh, hey, let's this. Like, we have no knockback. You want to see something cool, guys? This thing does a pull in, but because it's considered knockback. It doesn't pull me in. We did we did have that happen a couple times already, but I wanted to just make a, 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 a verbal note on that. Because that is actually a pretty good strategy in the later floors. When you're dealing with a scorpion. So yeah, knockback disabled sucks for like rage, but... When you're dealing with scorpions later, that's actually really good to take advantage of. You essentially kind of... Disable some of the... some of what the um... Some of what the uh... the scorpion's capable of doing. Yes. That's what you typed, man. I'm just reading what you typed, dude. So watch, this thing is gonna pull me in. This is its normal tech. So when knockback is disabled, it doesn't pull that. It doesn't, it doesn't do that pull in. Rage. Yeah, I'm gonna rage the damn chimera. Look at the chimera. Twelve thousand seven hundred three thirty damage. Twelve hundred. Twelve thousand seven hundred thirty damage. That means that's how much HP it has. Look at this dragon. Eleven thousand seven hundred. 32. Big enemies, big HP. Let's do a comparison here, quick, with the with the claw. By the way, Rage does 100% of the maximum HP. 7,858. <laughs> so when I say the bigger the enemy, the more HP they have, I am not kidding. So if you can help it, you know, you try not to fight the bigger enemies, but hey, it doesn't, you know, sometimes it just is what it is. But something to definitely keep in mind there. Um, in terms of the enemies when it comes to the palace. It's a little bit different in Heaven on High, but we're not in Heaven on High. So, yeah, keep that in mind. The bigger the enemy, the more... So that's why it's tricky in the later floors, in, in 100 floors later in the 181 set. We always recommend, hey, kill the Chimeras. Pick, them, pick the Chimeras on, kill the Chimeras. Um, but because they're bigger enemies, they have higher HP pulls. I'm gonna use food for 91+. plus. I don't use food here, I use food 91+. plus.
H.O.H. flashbacks. Yo, what's up, Southerner? How you doing, dude? Let's go back to San Diego. How is San Diego? Were you there for a convention? Yeah, how's San Diego, dude? I might be going to San Diego in uh, October because of the TwitchCon. I'm going to try to do TwitchCon, I think. But how is San Diego doing? San Diego is, is magical. So what did you do in San Diego? I've I've been to San Diego before. I've done some things, really cool things in San Diego. So what did you do? If you wanna if you wanna share with the class. Can we find something else? On the beach they went to Temicula. Wine country, okay. City Wine Resort. Wow, oh that's cool. Okay. I don't. I, I have never done that. I've done the zoo. I've done the convention. I've done the beach. Um, but I never did that one. That sounds cool. Winery resort. Nice. San Diego Zoo is pretty cool. I think the San Diego Zoo is pretty damn big. Wait. Yeah, it is. I I have been there. Actually, you know, when I was there, they were under construction. So like half the zoo is like under construction though. But um. It was good, and then and then the Mexican food there is really freaking good too. It's great food over there. Um, although the polar bear, pit, well, yeah, the polar bear is kind of yeah. yeah. Um, okay, Necro ninety nine. Hey man, first first time catching you live. Hi. Actually, I'm a I'm a trained AI. I'm not actually live. Um, you have encountered a stream where the AI is just so advanced that I know that you're coming in at exactly that time so I can answer your question. Been watching your YouTube stuff for several days now. God help you. No, I'm kidding. I really hope... I was really helpful, so I wanted to thank you for that. No problem. Uh, I did my first ever solo attempt and died on... Wow. Wait, what paralyzed you? What paralyzes you? Oh, you probably got hit with, um... The Persona? The Persona's paralyzed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 149 as the first attempt, dude. Uh, that is tremendously awesome, so keep it up. You're you're already well past a lot of other people, so that's really freaking good. Um, I'm thinking Persona. I think the boots are gone by then. I think the boots are a little bit earlier, Luxy, so I, I'm almost certain it's a Persona. But I could be wrong. I, I, I don't remember. It is one of them, but I, I don't remember which one it is. Potchard! Yo, Potchard. Let's go. Hey, and by the way, thank you for typing that message. I really appreciate that. Um, it's really nice to meet the guys that kind of reside more on YouTube, and then you guys find a way to come to the live stream. So I do appreciate that, because honestly, like, yeah, it, it's it's fun to talk with you guys live and to, and to have the conversation, but I know sometimes the time zones are ass for a lot of people. Um, especially if you're EU, it's kind of probably super ass. I, I'm pretty sure there are people out there who are listening, who are from... Who are who literally can never ever ever catch a live stream because my times are just janky. But you still watch the content and that that really means a ton. That you, you actually like just enjoy it that way. Um, very rarely do I do recorded content only for YouTube and it's all from the live stream. Let me see if I get a steal out of here. I don't remember the name, but it was kind of ghost. But yeah, that was the persona. It has like, it had like multiple eyes, it looks like it had a cloak or something. It looks like glowing, that's Persona. Don't worry, I'm bad with names too, Necro. Um, so a lot of times I describe something. You know, like, this is easy because it's a dragon, like how can you forget his name is Dragon? But I'll describe, I'll name things by their description, but the Persona was like... I don't know how many times, I don't know how I could properly describe it, so I just knew its name. How many sustaining potions do you, yeah. 400 to 500 is the average. That's about what I, I I go through. On my initial clear, I think I went through 600. But why do I say 400, 500? It's simply because you're good. So, so think of it this way. If you start at floor 1, Boreas, at 400, you're assuming you're picking up potions along the way. You're getting the 2 guaranteed from Edda, 
and the Necromancer at floor 100, more than likely you're picking up more on the on the climb. So even if you use up all 400, you're probably gonna be like at you're probably gonna have extra potsherds to use, and you'll be able to keep going on the run. So that's why that base 400 is good or base 500. It does assume that you'll use more potsherds. Uh, that you'll maybe potentially need more, but you're getting potsherds along the run. That makes sense. HOH names are possible to remember. I don't remember them at all. I just I just call them or whatever. All right. So the boss is this is a lot harder than it than it had been before, guys. Something to note: this is a harder boss than before. So if it feels like it's hitting harder, if it feels like it's taking longer, you're not going crazy. If you were to run a comparison of my Shadowbringer clear for Godfather versus this one, no matter what I do, I'm going to kill this slower. It's something to keep in mind. Now, assuming that you transmuted your your Potsher that you had got from Edda, you're probably going to have at least 20. So I'm using one here for Lust. What I like to do is I like to use a Lust once the ad shows up, because I'm going to use Lust to kill the two ads. Also, note my positioning for the bomb. The bombs that show up with the ads are fixed positions. They will spawn in exactly the same spot every single time you do this duty. And so I'm favoring my positioning so that I hit the ads. First one was exactly where you saw it, the second one will be around this bomb, and that's why it is here in, in particular. Um, and then the last bomb, which you have to park underneath the boss, that is going to be center. So just kind of keeping the boss around this vicinity is good enough. I'm gonna dump here. Also, it's going to be a good habit when that Giddy Bomb shows up, I believe it's called Giddy Bomb. Do not uh, ricochet! No ricochet, because if you ricochet, you're kicking the bomb away from the, from the flames. Here, I can show you, ready? I'm gonna show you the bad thing to do. I'm gonna ricochet on purpose so you can see it happen. Ready? Ricochet. We hit the, we hit the enemy. So here, I'm just gonna kind of adjust here. Boom. So... Make sure you do not ricochet, otherwise you're going to cause a lot of problems. Because I kind of knew what I was doing, I already knew the position I was going to fling that boss, the bomb, and I made my adjustment, but if you need to do it on the fly, you may not have that reaction time. So, do not use ricochet, otherwise you kick out that giddy bomb, it's real bad. Duty? Duty duty? I'll catch up and chat after we kill this boss. We should be able to kill this boss before the other bomb becomes a bit of a problem. It's gonna show up one more time. That's the gray bomb, but we should have enough damage to kill this out with based on uh, having the lust going in. There you go. So that is a harder 90 boss. A little bit harder, but that's how we handle it. Alrighty. Let me catch up and chat here before we continue. Turn in some of the PLTD music. Um... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was ass, but I wasn't even upset. I could have played better. My positioning was bad. I don't know how, I don't know the aggro types. Oh, the aggro types will come in time, Necro. Don't worry. You'll learn them over time. And, you know, and to that effect, if you're using the videos, Necro, then maybe I didn't do a good enough time to explain that. So maybe once we get to those higher floors on Thursday, I'll do a better job explaining aggro types. Because if you don't know, if you don't know what that aggro type is and you're using the videos, I didn't explain it. So I'll do a better job, if I remember. Um, most HOH ones are named after the yeah. I think they're 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 a lot of them are Japanese names. So you know what is really funny? Absolute paradox. If any of you guys were watching us Sunday when we did the group, um, the group Heaven on High run with Chila, Loken, and Pin, Chila had no problem like calling the enemies by their names because she speaks Japanese. So it was just like, it was just an easy word for her. For me, they're like, they're like, too freaking complicated, so I'll just call them like, you know, Centaur, Robot Bitch, Bird Bitch, Green, Green, Green Jerk, you know, like, we'll, we'll, we'll describe them very well, and you guys know what I'm talking about. Thing that kills me all the time, like, when I say that, you know exactly what that is. So, makes it a lot easier for me to remember. Giraffe. Oh, that was Loken, dude. He was calling those, those deers giraffe, man. I don't know what he was smoking. He was smoking something. Um, aggro types are easier to get with repetition, yep. Yeah. Is the turret aggro so wonky? So Absolute Paradox, I cannot confirm nor deny the turret aggro, but I will tell you, when my turret comes up and the Giddy Bomb is there, I don't drop it. I just don't drop it. I just I just wait and just drop it later. 
Ghost enemies can be sound, yep. Oh my god, Southerner, did you see that post from Elden Ring? Uh, it was a Twitter account called... Uh... Can I Pet the Dog? I believe it was the name the Twitter account. And they had a video basically saying, In Elden Ring, you can't pet the dog. <laughs> it's such a great video. And the guy's just like, Come here! And then the dog just chomps him and kills him. It's not you, don't worry, your videos are really useful. At least that's my first time. No, no problem. Like, Necro, I'm always looking to improve the videos, Necro. So don't take offense by that. I don't take offense by it. So don't take offense to that either. If there is something you thought the video could do better, if there's anything, even if like you're, you're super, super novice and like first time in, even if you, like just this like random ass thing, like let me know because I can incorporate it. I could maybe incorporate it, add it in to make the experience better for you next time or better for someone else. So stuff like that, comments like that, I pick up on and it makes me think, okay, could I have done this a little better? Because look, it is it is based on my own knowledge and I'm just just basically like like vomiting words as much as possible so I might miss things and if I miss it that could be a crucial information that could be helpful for the next person. So that's that's just my approach on going it for it. I hope that makes sense. Um I'm always looking to try to get better. It's just it's just the thing I do. I'm never satisfied, man. We'll get more water and then we'll go into 91 plus. Uh, by the way, I'll, I'll mention it now, but I'll talk more about it when we step in because people might skip this part and it's understandable. 91 is harder, uh, and 100 is a lot harder. So if you're comparing the Shadowbringer video into the Endwalker area, you'll you'll know or you'll feel that it is harder, but it is. Enemies are just like hitting harder, they're dying slower, all that stuff. Just cleared P4S, congratulations. Uh, when's P5 coming? Today I caused the wipe because someone in my static told me to go to two way marker and asked, "You, your two or my two? <laughs> he short circuited. <laughs> Instead of left or my. Oh my god. Jesse, what did you do? Oh my god. Sure, might be based on your own knowledge, but you've forgotten. You've got. You've forgotten more about POTD than I've known. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally going to level every job to eighty to to ninety using only crystal conflict. Do it. Dragon Sun Ultimate, yeah. I imagine. So you should say, you know what you should say, Jesse, one time? If you gotta go left or right, say stage left. Is there a reason people never use grade 6 tinctures in PAL? Um, hey, Almers, can you answer that question? So, Almers, 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 quick, 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 can you answer that question? What is the cap in Palace of Dead for grade? Is it grade 3? There is a cap for uh, Palace, meaning. You use, you use like, I think grade, there we go. So that's, that's what it is. Almish has that information. So like, you can use six if you want to. I mean, more than likely you're sitting on six because of rating. But if you want it to be kind of efficient, you probably use something less. Or you use like old ones from like, and from like Shadowbringers. Because you don't really get more, uh, than a certain amount, if that makes sense. So that's probably why you don't see people use grade six. I have grade six, but it's just because I was using them for like, content. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's mainly why you would see people not use it, but that's like super detailed. Like honestly, I think most people would probably use grade 6 simply because that's just what they're sitting on. Like you're probably sitting on like hundreds of it, you know? I also showed myself doing the 140 boss before starting fighting and I actually was watching the video. I saw you kill in, in 10 resolution packs, pause the video so I didn't fight myself. Then my teeth kicked in and almost died. Then I unpaused the video and you said, by the way, never attempt this guy with <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, because it takes way longer without strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, because... Uh, it's going to take way longer. You don't do it in resolution with uh without champ. Yep. Shit. Sorry, man. Okay, I should mention that earlier then. <laughs> Talk about that earlier. Okay, I remember that. Okay, let's go in. I'm gonna food up because again we're respecting um we're respecting this this set a lot more. So we'll food up here. Uh, we're gonna use my arch hamburger because I'm a uh, <laughs> I got a, I got rich taste buds. Okay, 91 plus. Oh, I didn't update title. I gotta be a good streamer, we gotta update title. Someone make a bot where when I go into the next set, it just automatically updates my title. That'd be great. Yo, what's up, Vera? Boo, boo, doo, boo, boo. Um, steal. Okay, good start. So we want to be a little extra careful. The enemies are going to be a little bit harder, especially once we stop walking, start walking into 96, 97. 
those enemies will definitely be a little bit more meaty and also kind of kill you a lot faster. Uh, you might start seeing me using some sustaining potions to get through, but we do want to make that a no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost getting hungry again. I had a delicious chocolate cake for dinner, but, you know, <laughs> cake for dinner is not entirely an uh, actual meal, but it was good. Do, do. Thanks, Almish. Hey, Almish, thank you for hanging in a little bit of extra before you went to dinner. I really appreciate that. You're the, you're the go-to guy for that information, so I, I really appreciate that. Dinner of Champions? Yeah, I had like a strawberry, a chocolate strawberry cake. It was really good. With some green tea. That was my dinner. It was supposed to be my dessert post lunch, and I never ate it until dinner time came in, so it's like, okay, I'll just eat it now. <laughs> okay, this guy is gonna do Scream. Big AoE, we're going to interrupt. Unlike the other, uh, the other rates though, he doesn't use the follow up Accursed Hawk, so you just have to worry about that one. The later ones will do it, and Heaven on High will do it, but not this one. Swarms have it on drain, so they're kind of extra annoying to kill. Mummies are proximity, so we have to kill them to get the exit. Uh, swarms are sound, I believe. I always thought they were proximity, but I believe they are sound. In case you haven't seen it or are not sure, this icon is a landmine, so if I hit it, I go boom, so do enemies if I'm fighting it. That is a landmine. We haven't really talked about that, but I haven't really landed, uh, went into traps lately. Alright, so we're gonna walk here through the swarms. I hate them. Okay, first slow down. Intuition. Rage! Okay, let's take advantage of the rage. Fiction. Alright, so we got a nice easy floor here for 92. I just want to kill enough to get out of this floor. We'll check the other chest too. Hot shirts would be really good too. This song is so good. I like this song a lot. I respect content. Miss Queen! Thanks for the lurk! Hope you have a good day, Queen. Guys, our buddy Queen Chan Lin. Variety streamer. Good friend of ours. She's a gamer too, dude. Here's pretty, she's she's pretty she's pretty she's pretty awesome. So let's check her out. Man, she always spends the time to pass on by, and I'm I'm always such a jerk, and I I never pass by her stream unless I read her. I'm so bad. I I don't pass by anyone's stream. <laughs> I'm a bad I'm a bad friend. Yo, Mage Gunner, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up? Yeah, you came in the right time as always. You oh you know what? It doesn't matter what time of the day you come in, Mage Gunner. End of stream, beginning of stream, middle of stream. It's always at the right time. You came exactly when you needed to. How's it going? Mage, are you doing uh are you doing uh ulti? I wanna think you're doing ulti, but I'm unsure of this. You're doing ulti, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Hope you're having fun. It's been a fun watch. I've been watching a lot of the prog from a lot of teams. So keeping myself educated. So I sound like I, I know how to play this game. I may not do it, but at least I know about it. Another wraith coming in. No, oh, times two. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, ultimate, okay. So you know, I'm too much of a casual? Yo, high five, dude. Me too. I'm too much of a casual. <laughs> I'm too- I'm way too much of a casual, man. Yeah, one day. I can imagine you being- you being an ulti gamer, dude. No problem. You want to pick on the Rose- the Rose Let, by the way, as a range? They are so easy. Look how slow they attack. One of the best enemies to fight. They are sound, though. Hippographs are sight, so they're a lot easier as well. Um, they're not too bad. Aw, uh, you're- 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 you're singing to the choir, my friend. Um, I'm, I've been ready for a deep dungeon for years. I'm just- I'm just, you know, buying time doing the old stuff, if you will. Hell yeah, we're gonna be all over it, you bet you imagine that. The community and myself will be all over that new one, I can't wait. <sighs> just everything is gonna be fun, I can't wait. That's it. Benny. Okay, we have uh, some of the undead showing up here. Uh, of course is proximity, although we have a rage, so that's good. Tactician. Okay, so the chorus is a rage, it's a, is a proximity. Swarm is sound. Rosalette is sound. Oh, I see Duke, hello! Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. Okay, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to go here. We'll just go south. I think this is the rage, so I gotta come back this way. I'm over here waiting for it to drop, just knowing that one day we'll rise up. Rise up. Out of Gilmore, finally. I mean, we have Heaven on High, right? But yeah. For sure. God, I just hope they make it so hard! Urgh, I wanna be challenged in this game. <laughs> you know. Saying that because I'm not being challenged in this game, obviously. Kiamba, hello, how you doing? What up? What up, friendo? So I was saying this earlier in stream, Mage Gunner. Um, what I would like Deep Dungeon to establish itself. If you're going to, if you're going to, oh Rev, by the way, Rev sixty nine, thanks for the follow. If you're going to set tier difficulties for solo content, because bear in mind, Square Nexus has said this is this is official. This isn't me just like, you know, making things up. They said that they're going to start moving into more solo content for 14. That is their goal for like, the future. But if you were to tier, like you have for, for rating, you have ulti, savage, um, extreme, 24 man, so on and so forth. If you were to tier solo content, I hope Deep Dungeon is the top tier, top top tier, right? Then maybe the duels, or maybe Criterion goes into that. So I hope Deep Dungeon stays and is the top tier solo content. The ultimate version, if you will. Um, and that's what I really hope it is. Now again, I mean, as long as you kind of have a tier above, I mean, maybe you make Criterion as, as the ultimate version of the thing, which is okay, fine. Just make it really hard. You know, give me a solo one that's hard. Hey, I'll become a Criterion streamer. As long as it's good content, I'll put it out there. I uh, hope we get new one, Nizel Isle. I know, Nizel Isle is... is potential, but we'll see. We'll see. It did cross my mind, but it seemed like we just touched upon that area. Um, but Nizel Isle would be the perfect one. I just missed a reassemble drill, guys. I hope you guys noticed I missed a reassemble drill. With Criterion. Criterion is their new dungeon that they are introducing in 6.2. It is supposed to be a scalable dungeon. So you can go in just like Deep Dungeon, one, two, three, or four people. But we don't know anything past that. No other information. We don't know what it's involved. We don't know how it's set up. We don't know what anything. That's all we know. Um, so <clears throat> we'll be staying for long, but it'll be looking for. Okay, I, hey, I always appreciate the clerks, so thank you for that. It sounds neat. I hope it is. Cynic, I'm with you on that one. Um, I am 100% with you on that one. <laughs> now there's two ways to approach it. And I am with you in this thought that when I first heard about it, it sounded like, oh, so it's probably going to be harder for four people but easier for one person, right? I, I think you're thinking like that and I agree with you on that one. However, you could also think of it like, 
Mythic Plus. Where if it's like Mythic Plus and WoW, then you're in implying scaling as, okay, we have a baseline difficulty, and you can scale it higher and higher and higher and higher until, I don't know, until your nose bleeds or something. Um, which then would be like, okay, that's kind of cool, I can ramp it up to like inc infinite difficulty and then try to do it. So if you, if you imply scaling that way, that sounds cool. But I am kind of with you, Cynic, on that. Having this like, this like, this like little thought in my brain, it's like, well, it's harder with four people no matter how I slice it. Eh, you know, it's like, okay, whatever. It's like, okay, I can do it, but it's like, it's not as motivating, you know? Whereas Deep Dungeon, you know, it's the reverse. It doesn't scale, therefore Deep Dungeon is always going to be harder with one person because it's exactly the same with four people. And that's why Deep Dungeon is so appealing. And you know what? Honestly, I feel like maybe they take that into consideration. Maybe. That people are challenging Deep Dungeon solo. And yes, it's supposed to be 4-4, but people are still killing it by 1, so you gotta think that the gamer's skill is high. So they wouldn't do something like that, but... At the same token, they haven't introduced anything in this game as such, so they could be just filling that hole to allow for something that scales to that extent. Which is fair, but not preferable. Machinist might be your favorite job. Artist, Machinist is great. It is it is the fan favorite for, for Palace of Dead and Deep Dungeon in general. I mean, I know Machinist kind of gets crapped on a little bit in the raiding scene because of what they do not bring to the table compared to Dancer and Bard, but it's not a raid scene. It is a very, very good job in Deep Dungeon, so... Do you think Red Mage is a good option for HOH clear and better stick with tanks? I hate to say it, but honestly I think tanks would be a better option, Kiyomi, just because of what they do. Um, I mean, look, I'll, I'm a Red Mage fan, but Red Mage is tough. It, it takes a it takes a playstyle to work with it. If you really like Red Mage, then go for it, but it's a tough one. This is a treasure room, right in front of me. Also, Stranger Paradise battle music, let's go. If you guys haven't heard of what Stranger Paradise is, I do play it on Mondays right now and we're doing speedruns. So you will see the entire game beginning, of, beginning to end in two hours. But it's a really good game. It is a Final Fantasy game, but it's, a, it's like Devil May Cry to some extent. Or maybe like a... People say Souls-like, but it's not really Souls. Um, also, keep in mind the damage I'm taking. I do have Steel on. This is where we were mentioning at the beginning of the of the beginning of the floor how things are kind of harder hitting. To be fair, I do have no healing, so I will start popping some potions to help me out. But you do want to not take a lot of these things for granted. Okay, let's see. The knight is proximity here, so I do want to pull the knight so I have a clearance on the left side. The dragons are sight, so I don't have to worry too much about getting around the dragons unless they're facing my direction. I do have a free witch in case things go south. Double lust. Chorus is proximity here, so I'll pull it. Knight has to go because he just sees proximity. Trank. Steel. Okay, let's find the exit first. Might have to start consulting the homework soon. Uh, kind of blind. Oh! Good luck! Let's go blind, Hollow. Gotta love it. Yo, Z Don, hello! Thanks for the raid! Welcome in, guys! Give me a moment while I kill this Goo Boo. Z. Oh, that's not how I did. Z Don. Hey, thanks for the raid! How's 14? Welcome in, guys, from Z Don's stream. I am Angela's Demoness, if you haven't been here before. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo, and actually, today we are constructing a new guide for trying to do Machinist, which is a popular job to get Necromancer. I do it on stream first, we talk as much as I can, people ask questions, so on and so forth. That's the format of this, so if, if this might be your desire, today's a great day because I am I would love to answer any questions, but essentially we're just showcasing the run, 
showing you guys how to get through, uh, all that stuff. Uh, welcome in. Death by Ultimate Raid. Okay, okay. Uh, AJ, hello, welcome in. Absolutely good. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Do I spend some time in here? You know, I've been in here for a little bit, so I know my thing. But I appreciate that. So how far are you guys, by the way? I'm assuming when you said ultimate, you're in ultimate. So how far are you guys? I kind of know ultimate. Uh, I, I have, I did a hardcore static on day one. But I kind of know all the phases, so... Where are you guys at? Where are you sitting at? I don't know the names of abilities, though. I know phases, but I don't know the names of abilities. Mutas at MP2? Mutas at MP2. Mutas at MP2. Okay, okay. I think I know that one. Oh, so when, like, the... Is that the part where, like, the comets drop and stuff? Like, it's, like, towards the end of that, right? Get an offline at the week. Ooh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, watching my HP here. It's this mutation. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. See? Ah, ah, I am proud of myself that I know what you're talking about. Hell yeah, dude. I am proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, I've never ever stepped into a Savage on content. Never done an ultimate. It's just not the content I do, so... I get overly excited when I know what people are talking about. That's all. <clears throat> just like this, like, just like, just... Yeah, dude! I've been watching enough of this content to know what I'm talking about. I did that with T. I was watching Todd and Galaxy AUS do T. Um... And I watched them for like a literal month and a half. I watched their like entire prog to their clear. And like by that point, I, I knew all the phases. You know, they had like Pepsi Man and said it's a BJ and 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 and, uh, and, uh, and the cruiser, right? And then into into Alexander. And then you had Wormhole. And then you had Perfect Alexander. You had you had Nissy back in in, in, in Blue Justice. And, like I knew like a lot of the mechanics. Like I watched it so much. I never stepped foot into that content ever. When you're getting when when are you getting your Guru Necromancer to do ultimate? <laughs> well, Jayla's kind of doing it. I don't know, dude. Dude, we we play solo for a reason. Like we're on our own. We don't we don't get together, man. We we social distance, you know. This is me social distancing from the 14 community in an instance. Like not 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 from the community of you guys watching, from the community in game. I don't have to deal with humans, so I'm just here by myself. Easy game. Social distance gamers, yeah. I, I remember I made this joke when uh, when the pandemic was starting about how they were defining social distancing, you know, oh, social distancing, stay six feet away, and I'm like, wait, there's a definition for the thing I've been doing all my life? Oh my god, is that what you call it? I've been doing that literally for my entire life. Now I know what it's called, social distancing. Necromancers don't have to worry about anyone else messing up their run except an intern tripping over a wire. Now plugging the server, true. True. Ever avoided people can be toxic? They can be, yeah. I, I've, I've done 16 seasons of feasts in PvP. And I can tell you people can be toxic, yeah, for sure. I may not have raided, but I PvP'd. Um, but I'll definitely tell you, and, and maybe this is a little bit of bragging, but I would like to think, and I do have seen it, that the Deep Dungeon community is full of just amazing people. Just the just the big encompassing part of the community are all just really nice people. And I feel like that's just what some guys are just looking for. Just a nice calm community to do really tough content, just not to get ragged on really. And how can you really rag on someone doing solo? You know, it's like it doesn't make it doesn't impact your run in any way. It's like can you imagine? Um, Alright, yo, thank you Zidon for the raid. Thank you very much. Guys, check out Zidon, they're doing ultimate, so they're very kind to bring the raid over here. Um, can you imagine you're doing a solo run, and then like, some other guy is doing a solo run, and like, they fail. And like, you're like, dude, why did you fail? You messed me up! What's wrong with you? It's like, that makes no sense. It's like, your run and the other person's run have no bearing for each other. So really, it's all you're doing is just kind of cheering each other on, because you know what that journey's like. And that's kind of where the vibe is kind of coming from, right? It's like you don't like who cares what everyone else does. You just want people to just kind of just do well and all that stuff. And that's I think why it's really such a nice community. No one's really butting heads. 
I mean, not to say it's perfect. I'm not saying it's a utopia. Like, let me like there are things that have happened, but it's certainly damn good compared to other communities for sure. Is this gonna be on YouTube? Yes. I, what I've been doing, Necro, is every stream I've been doing since the beginning of the year has been going on YouTube. So last week, Necro, I was attempting to do the live tutorial of this last week. And I would have completed it. I would have been doing something completely different today, but I disconnected on 193. No joke. I got up to 193, I had three wages, three flights, and I disconnected. My ISP said, F you. <laughs> so I have to do it again. And that one I had last week will be on YouTube, although I'm not gonna label it a live tutorial. Um, but it will be in that format, so. Uh, the video I was watching is from Shadowbringer, they're really good, but it looks like some floors are way harder now. Exactly, Necro. And that is one massive reason why I'm doing this now. Because I want to update that guide. Because I know lots of people have been talking about it in those videos. Oh my god, the 100 boss is so much harder! Yes, I know. And I actually tried to put in the description, because I did do... I did do Machinist in Endwalker in the early days, but I didn't clear. And we did do a couple things, and I made some comparisons and such, but... It, it, people don't read the uh, people don't read the descriptions, and it's okay. I'm not gonna make them read the descriptions, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And Thursday, I continue this necro. So same time Thursday, you're gonna see the continuation of this run, assuming I get to 120 today. But yeah, it's certainly gonna be on YouTube. And the one that I did last week, I believe I'm gonna post it on next Tuesday. I believe is when I'm gonna post that one. No, no, I might post it Saturday. I'm not gonna post it. It's either Tuesday or Saturday of this week that I'll post uh, my Necro, my, my, my last week. I think it's gonna be uh, Tuesday. I don't remember. It's gonna be posted at some point. Resol okay, resolution, guys, is really good. Because on this floor, 97, 98, 99, a lot of the enemies are undead. So take advantage of that. You can probably one-shot a lot of these enemies now. So you'll do a lot of uh, quick kills with a free resolution. You don't want to use an, you don't want to use one to go down two, but if you get a free one, you can get some free kills here because they're all undead. Uh, okay, time to okay. Hey, thank you, Mage Gunner, for being here as always. Have a wonderful sleep. I already made a new file. I got up to fifty. Okay. Uh, I just hope I can I can get past uh, one ninety four. Yep. That's yeah. Yeah, the wombo combo sometimes of Deep Dungeon is intense. You don't think of it, but when you're dealing with two enemies, there is some interesting wombo combos and it sucks for sure. I might need, I might need to double tap these, so I'll hit it. Yeah, I do, I do need to double tap. Okay, we'll pick up the resolution. Damn, I'm hungry, guys. I always complain about that. I always get hungry and I'm hungry again. Feels bad. I was so hungry on uh When was I when did I say stream? Oh Sunday, I was so hungry. Oh my god. Might eat something before I sleep, I don't know. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna talk about the 100 boss. Why is it harder? And we're going to do a little bit of an adjusted strategy from what we did back in Shadowbringers. I'm going to call this a safe strategy, but if you want to make it a little tighter, you are more than welcome to do it. The goal here is just to provide something that you guys can get that's a little bit more consistent uh, and to get you through. If it's like your 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th time, you can start tweaking it if you want, that's fair. But we'll do it in a way where it's, again, consistent. So we're going to do our normal setup here, which we're just going to do uh, the burst. I'm actually, usually what I did, I do the burst at 90%, but we're going to hang here a little bit. Alright, so we're going to actually push this a little bit further. What I want to do is get a lot of my burst down here. Okay, so I'm going to go here into Tactician, and I'm going to be on Lost, but I'm going to push him only to the second set of ads. So the second set of ads should be about 67-ish, is where you're looking at, 67-ish. So we're going to be staying in lust for a little bit. I'm also going to manage my HP. One of the biggest differences with this fight that's problematic is that the courses hit you way harder, even through steel. So when these guys use glass punch, watch my HP. My HP is going to drop by like 
one fourth of my HP from the glass punch, and that is not what it did before in Shadowbringers. And also, they take longer to die, so they would usually die in two hits of lust. Sometimes they are dying in three hits of lust. That's a bit of an issue. Alright, so I'm gonna dump it here. Okay, I'm gonna watch it because my I just took some damage there. I'm gonna be pushing the pushing the, the boss down a little bit. Cutting for a little bit. I'm gonna be using a resolution once the second set of ads show up, which will be soon. Because I want to make again, we're gonna make this a little safer. We don't want so many ads running around here. So we're gonna take care of the first two set of ads. That's the first set of ads done. The second ones are coming in right now. We clear these out with the resolution. I need to do one more hit here. Again, this is a safety, safety strap. I get rid of that one, and then we could proceed as normal. The next set of ads are going to show up by about 39, and then we'll do a second resolution. The strategy I employed back in Shadowbringers, basically what we did, is we lusted, and then we would fight this boss all the way up into the last set of ads. So you'd have seven ads running around, and you take care of them with resolution. Why we don't do that anymore is what I explained earlier, is that they hit you so much harder and they have a little bit more, seemingly more HP, so they die slower. And that does complicate trying to keep them alive a little bit longer. So that's why we do a double resolution, or rather I do a double resolution, to make this a lot safer. Again, you can do, you can still do one lust, one resolution, but if you're approaching this as one of your first time attempts, and you're approaching this as like, you know, I haven't really done this boss too much, Go with the safe strap. Play it safe, get a little bit used to it, and then you can start maybe threading the needle a little bit, you know, pushing your palms, getting a little bit more out of it. Just, again, my goal is to get you to the bench as safely as possible, and as consistent as possible. And this is the strategy that I personally employ all the time. I find it really fun though, using, I'm used to doing mid-eye level extremes. Uh, dude, I'm trying to use a potion here. Um, mid level extremes, and sometimes it can get rather frustrating if I die in PvP, it's always on you. Palace of Dead is kind of always on you, and not to mention, it's it's addicting. It is like your traditional, like, roguelike, roguelike game necro. Where it's like, because you have the randomness and the RNG, every attempt, it's like you're convinced that it's, it's a prog point, right? You don't get frustrated by dying, it's because it's like, maybe you were destined to only get up to 149. Like, okay, today, I was only supposed to get to 149. But next time, I know what to do when I get to 149. I know what to, you know, what to prevent and what to make happen. So the next time, you'll take a couple floors higher. That's, that's a frog point. So dying is, is good. That's how they describe ro roguelikes. Dying is fun. Dying is satisfying. Because you learn by dying. You learn by failing. I remember they do like 8% more damage hit. Yeah, it's like, I believe it's like 8% or something. That's kind of the math I had done too. Do we know why uh, Neighborhood's floor is so much harder? It's it's the stat squish that they did, Lizarat, and the way they reorganized the stats. That's why it's like that. Um, because, think of it this way. You had a stat squish from Shadowbringers to Endwalker. It would be the perfect world that if everything would translate and be exactly what it was. But things are going to get weird. I mean, you're cutting down the numbers. Something gets lost in translation. So it isn't a perfect process. I mean, I thought it would be a miracle if it would be exactly what it was. And honestly, we got a miracle because of the higher floors. 141 plus in Palace, 51 plus in Heaven on High. Feel exactly the same as how it felt like in Shadowbringers. Like, that was honestly a surprise the challenge everyone agrees and this isn't just me talking or me trying to like make it sound like the content is 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 better than it than it should be or something like that you know not downplaying it or whatever talk to people the multitude of runners will tell you it's the challenge is not any easier it's pretty much the same um hey there's an necromancer so that's really satisfying to a lot of runners like they don't feel like they got cheated out of the challenge or they don't feel like that you know the whole the whole joke about oh the ultimate uh, the 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 content was harder in this year you know hey good job clearing it but it was harder here you know all that stuff you know that kind of meme no it's like the same challenge i mean you work with the jobs you have you can't do anything about you can't go back in time so at least it's still there but yeah it was just pretty much the the way they did the stat squish and some things got lost in translation that's just what is what it is now and that's just our comparison um 
I know A4S didn't get squished properly. You know what? You know what I did notice? If you do the near raids, the near raids feel like they got way harder. Those feel like they take so much longer. I remember I did one of the near raids, like, you know, post Endwalker, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm seeing mechanics I've never seen before. So it is what it is, it happens. Oops, sorry. Um, you could use all three Bezos and sets of ads if you really want to be the safest human possible. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend three Bezos because you do want one for 140. Two is good, but I wouldn't recommend three just because you really want it later. Honestly, I don't even know, I didn't even want to clear Palace yet. The journey to do it's so much fun. Hey, like think of Aurora. If you guys have been watching Aurora, that's one thing I joked with him. It's like people are so enamored and so inspired by his climb. But it's like, what happens when he actually clears? Like, okay, he gets to clear under his belt, but man, it won't feel the same if he goes back in, right? Like chasing the clear is part of that journey. Like people doing ultimates right now. People, people are invested in watching certain teams clear. When they clear, that hype is gone. Is what it is. What, what can you say? I mean, yeah, okay, they go for a second clear, but it's just not as cool as going for it for that first time. So part of you, it's like, okay, let's milk this as long as possible, but because you know when you clear the hype's gone, but at the same time, you want you want to click the clear. You don't want to take too long. Um, Rurik, once Alert clears, I who I am going to watch my weekly Asher attempts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, me, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll take over Swig. I think by that time, I'll have enough uh, pot shirts and I'll take over. I can't wait for Rurik to get that clear. I really should get my own clear at some point. You should, Wallen. How long have you been here, sir? All right, let's continue. All right, 101, let's continue. So, um, okay, let's get into this floor, right? So we were saying 91 started to get harder. The enemies got a little bit harder. That continues until 140. So all the way from 91 to 140, the enemies are noticeably more difficult. Now they're not like significantly difficult. It's just things are going to die a little bit slower than, than, than Shadowbring. So it's something to take into consideration and you kind of want to put the pedal a little bit down when you're doing these fours. Because before in Shadowbangers, we would still kind of keep the pedal a little bit chill and just kind of go in cruise control. But you may not want to go cruise control here. If you take aggro from two things in here, it might really delete you pretty fast. So play this a little bit carefully, hug the walls, don't be too risky. Trust me. Please, trust me. Especially in these fours. Just Breezy, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. We do have 20 more floors to go, or really 19 floors to go in this run, guys. So hopefully uh, we get this clean and we're done, we're done. We're done by maybe like 1.30, that'd be nice, nice and fast, you know? Nice speedy run. See the damage? It's a little, sp it's a little spicy with the damage, even just from the sprite, so you wanna watch out. Take this a little bit more seriously than you think you should. Okay, there's the exit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll just get it. You too. All of you guys get necromancer. You got you got eight, seven months left. Do it. How many months we got? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Oh, it's like nine months. Okay, we got like nine months. Nine to ten months. Okay, nine to ten months. Okay, so let me check the chest in case it's a mimic. The next Deep Dungeon shows up, just breezy. In January or February of 2023. Next Deep Dungeon. I always find it funny when people realize I don't have Necro, but I know so much, as, know as, as, as much people with Necromancer. Hey, you put out some good knowledge for the guys to, to consume, so you know your stuff, that's why. Yeah, just breezy. We have more or less a... We have like a, a little bit of an idea of when it's going to show up officially, so it's really exciting. I mean, it's still really far away, but it's better than not having any answer altogether, right? Lay Lust, I got it. 
crabs are sight, but they're not too deadly as you saw. They're just doing one shots, uh, one hits here. Oh, I see you almost. Thanks for having me. Oh, dude, you, again, you. I said this before. People are speaking to the choir. I cannot wait myself. Obviously, it's my main content. You know. Of course, I can't wait. Imagine, imagine next deep dungeon goes around. And I'm like, hey guys, uh, I'm gonna start doing raiding now. <laughs> imagine next deep dungeon drops. Hey guys, I have now joined an ultimate static. I'll be doing this for the time being. God, that'd be so like that'd be so funny, but also so silly. Like work this content for literally like five years, and it's like yeah, let me just stop now. Handles readerus. Oh my god. I thought about doing that as an as an April Fool's joke, but it's like I needed more thought into it. Hey guys, uh, I've deleted all my deep dungeon streams, and we're now going to become readers. I have a team. You wanna go world first? Imagine going for Necro Neck Astro. Hey, if someone wants to do it, who's gonna stop them, right? Do it, have fun. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, my first time. Astro is stop. How do you know? You don't know the level of the gamers out there, Lava Button. What if there's a god tier gamer who just knows how to play Astro at a god tier? You don't want to prevent them from existing, you just make them do the thing. Hey, Paul, thanks for passing by. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Night, morning. I shall catch you next time. I go all red? Oh my god. I could go all pink. I could do pink. Good. If someone gets Necro on Astro, I'm taking title off. I'm no longer worthy of wearing it. Imagine someone documents that journey though, lock button. That's what's important, like the, the journey is documented and you see it just unfold. Unreal. I'm fighting in hallways, guys. Playing it safe, we're fighting in hallways. Again, the traps can be in the rooms, but they can't be in hallways. <clears throat> can you sh can you job change? On no, you can't. No, you can't. You're still in an instance, so you can't you can't job change. Chad Sprout, Astro Necromancer, yeah. Okay, Yarzon, they're not bad, but the thing is they do a bomb down. And if you are fighting two enemies at once, this is very, very bad. So keep that in mind. Again, you shouldn't be fighting two things at once in Machinist, but something to just keep in mind that one. Stags are fine, they just do auto attacks here. This stag is gonna move about five, 5 seconds after he spawns, so he's gonna move very soon. That's just the pattern of enemies. Get the posture. Oh, three potsherds here, let's go! Picked up three potsherds. That's huge, 60 potions right off one floor. Why should just one-shot you? No, they should one-shot you. How's that feel? Steel, came back. Ziz does a Conal, I believe it's Sleep. But they're really easy, because after, for some reason, after they queue the Conal, they get like, stun locked. Like, like, they can't move for like, 2-3 seconds. I don't know why. It's coded that way. Switching. 
That's right. More more potions equals more astro runs. Okay, Yarazan is sound. A squirrel, on the other hand, is sight. He also only casts haste, so something to keep in mind. Just be careful with that. We could cancel out with arm's length if I really wanted to. So watch this. He hits me. He gets slow. It overrides his haste. And because it overrides the haste, he actually has to keep casting it because he can't get it back up. Uh, the Goblin Adventure does a a little bit of a burst. He does a triple attack. Again, enemies that are kind of bad if you're dealing with multiple at the same time. But if you're dealing with them solo, it's not too bad. Okay, now we're gonna bypass the... Actually, I'm gonna go a long way here. Take chest. <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever seen that many shards in my 1, 4, or 3s. Uh, no, I mean, if you get multiple bronze chests, you can get more. Um, but I don't think there's a max or minimum. Well, I guess minimum zero, but no, I don't think there's any kind of maximum there. Okay, we're out. Let's go. Okay, you'll watch. I'm not gonna move along the rooms like I do sometimes. I'm just gonna fight something, then move. Okay, we don't want to be too, too risky here, especially on these floors. Play a little bit safer, don't aggro double things, all that stuff. Hey, Ben! Wapow! Tight pants here, hey. I like that raid. I like an emo. Yo, what's up, Ben? Ben, by the way, doing some work with Deep Dungeon, also weightless on stream. He is a man of fitness, but he does Deep Dungeon, and uh, he's been working the runs, trying to get that clear. Definitely check his, his stream out. Really unique streamer on his end, guys. Um, how it goes? So far, so good. I'm not disconnected. <laughs> so that's a good thing. I, I didn't disconnect yet. How How is your stream? What's up, man? Welcome in, guys. I'm Angel's Demonus. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo on my end. Do a little bit of variety here and there on Mondays. Do a little PvP on Fridays. But we do concentrate here on Deep Dungeon solo. Today I'm making a brand new live tutorial machinist guide um, because the uh, the current one that's up there on YouTube is uh, it's old, it's, it's outdated a little bit. And uh, there's been some changes to machinist since Shadowbringers and now we're taking that into account. Uh, I had been working on it since last week but I disconnected on 193 last week. We were 20 minutes from finishing the damn run and I disconnected. So I do it all over again. So if anyone had missed it, well, you get another opportunity because I'm here doing it live. Ali Coca, hello. Um, uh, Green, hello. Swole Father, hello. Duro, Dejen, hello. Welcome in, guys. I'm going to be going into 120 today, so I got 15 more floors. So we're probably going to be here for another 30 or so minutes. So if you want to hang around, I got you. You got some deep dungeon questions, I got you too. Um, that is kind of what I do. So, uh, yeah. Have a good, have a good, have a good stay. If not, we gotta head out. All good. I'm sure, you, I'm sure Ben entertained the hell out of you guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Workout was tough. Made it through. Then got a new palace PB, getting to Behemoth the first time before timing out. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Let's go, Behemoth. Let's go, Behemoth. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You are progging. So Ben, serious question, dude. Like a, like a personal question, all right? Would you say it's better to work out than Deep Dungeon? Or do you think doing a Deep Dungeon then a workout is superior? Like I could imagine doing a Deep Dungeon then workout helps alleviate stress. But maybe you calm yourself working out first. And then do the run. What would you be your, your professional opinion on the matter? By the way, Hornets, they do still final sting. But they final sting slower than the ones in floor... Uh, Seven, uh, seven to, to nine. So you will have an opportunity to kill them fast enough, unless you're dealing again multiple enemies. We mentioned this multiple enemies is bad. Uh, that's when it gets a little complicated. But if you're not dealing with multiple, then it's not too bad. 
Also, watch the enemies, how hard they're hitting. We need to respect them because they are there. May have to use this uh, sustaining, but we'll see. One. So you also see no final sting. They would use it and die now if they were the older, uh, the early forest, but they're not. Almost ricocheted on the damn deer. Uh, oh, not that. Okay, I do want to kill the deer because I want to get access to the chest uh, that's by there. Also, I need to bear in mind there's a goblin uh, adventure coming in. Also, watch my HP. I'm going to potion here because I'm just a little bit low. Okay, let's go. I might get the... Oh, that's a... Hold on. Safety. I'll use it. <clears throat> Gives me a little bit of uh, freedom to move because I do have a goblin coming in soon. I might see right now. I'm gonna po take potion again here. Another beetle coming in. Doo, doo, doo. My workouts are a bit more performance focused, so I need to be pretty fresh for them. And if I have some looming after deep dungeon, I'll probably be more stressed knowing I need to get something else done. Okay, okay. I can understand that. I can see that. Okay, that's fair. Gotcha. Interesting take on that one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Thank you for sharing, by the way. That's awesome. <laughs> it's so cool as you do that on stream. Oh my god. Such a unique, unique way of doing things. Damn. I love it. You know, that's a demonstration right there of gamers being from everywhere, right? There is, um, there is two people that caught my eye recently. Uh, one of them was a butler by trade. Like, your, your OG, original, like, actual butler. Like, this, like, the jack-of-all-trades type of person. I thought that was so badass. And then there was another one who was, like, a, uh, a, uh, Either a chef or a restaurant owner of fine dining in, in, in uh, somewhere in the world. I don't want to really say the location, but somewhere in the world. Actually, in the UK, basically. I'm like, oh man, it's so cool to see gamers of like all types, you know? They come in all shapes and sizes, all trades of, of life. It's just, you all come together because it's just gaming. Such a, such a cool thing, you know? The Hippographs right here, by the way, they are proximity. They are sight in uh, 91 to 100 and to 191 to 100. But from 1 to 10 and here, they are actually proximity. Why? I don't know. Just deal with it. All I gotta tell you, just is what it is. Deal with it. Um, also, okay, so that's proximity. We also have Gale Cats, which will be showing up soon. Those are proximity. So here I'm gonna kill this Hippo only because he could give me a problem to the chest. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the exit, so that's why we're gonna get rid of it. Ladybugs are sights. They do a bit of a poison, but it's not that big of a deal. They're probably one of the easy ones to deal with here. Should not hit a trap along the side, though, so we'll walk along here. Okay, I'm gonna get the chest and go. <clears throat> Keeping that peloton on cooldown, making sure that we just have it up at full at all times. Alright, what we got? Hippograph is prox, squirrel is sights. We got a rage! Easy game. Alright, the uh, beetle is going away from me, that is prox. And proximity, hippograph right there. Pointed is proximity. So we do want to kind of get rid of it. So what I want to do carefully here, Gale Cat here is proximity. We want it to come to me. The more I dive into the room, the more likely I step on a trap. 
So some tech you want to do with a rage is make them aggro. This is where knowing what the aggro type is extremely important. So for instance, I could hang here, hold. Wait for this wheel to maybe come at me, get a little closer to the hornet. Let it come to me so I don't go into that room. Makes it a little bit safer. That'll be key for the bigger for the for the for the later floors. Witching. Alteration, which I will use, because we don't mind alteration right now. We'll come back and get it. go. Almost the box. Gates of Hell, that song. And then it's a battle dungeon 3. That's why usually I YOLO- yeah, oh no. Uh, you know what's one reason- you, okay, so there's a couple things we can talk about that, uh, that situation. Um, so one thing you want to also be careful of, Necro, is potential landmines. So if you're fighting, uh, so let's say an enemy in front of you is Sight, always, always ap approach them from behind. Because if you accidentally step on a landmine and they smack you, you'll probably die instantly, especially in the higher floors. So you want to maybe approach enemies that are Sight from behind. But also when it comes to proximity enemies or sound enemies, like I mentioned, make them come to you. The deeper and deeper you go into the room, the more likely you're going to step on a trap. So reduce that likelihood, make your life easier. And the little bit of tech as well, is the fact that sometimes traps take like 2-3 to three seconds to activate. I don't know why, but sometimes there's just such a long delay on the activation of traps, so you don't want to keep moving through a room and then assume like, oh, we're good, and then boom, a trap comes in. Um, so you get, you're just trying to make that a safer gameplay. It's a really good one, it's a time save, but it's not a time save when you die. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not a, that's not a time save when you die, okay? Here I'm going to use a steel. I'm gonna use a steal for the boss. Now you don't have to, but if you don't steal for the boss, you are using more sustaining potions. So for me, I'd rather save the sustaining potions because I kind of need them, not gonna lie. And we will steal. The delay is nasty when clicking. Oh yeah, when clicking on a chest and it ends up being a mimic. Or worse, killer jolt. You walk up to a chest and you're clicking it, right? You can hear me. You can hear me hitting enter. Wait, hear me and enter. Right? So like, if I do that, and I do it to a silver chest, and a lot of times when you try to do it to a silver chest, you walk up to the silver chest and you're like, okay, we're good. We hit the silver chest, but the landmine goes off, and then the silver chest goes off, and you die. The nice, the nice uh, landmine silver chest wombo combo. And so a lot of times, see the silver chest is here? Wait, one Mississippi, two Mississippi? Open. So that way I'm sure that I don't hit a landmine. Something to keep in mind. Um, because that has that has killed me personally at least once. Prompted. Dead DC. Oh, thanks, Sig. Yeah. Also, that. What's up, Sig? Thanks, man. Thanks. For Twenty-five. Holy crap, dude! I appreciate that, man. Guys, it's Sig, the creator of the Red Mage Necromancer Guide. Prominent member of the community. Just an awesome dude. He is just there for all deep dungeon streamers, and you really, really should check him out. Also, he does stream. He was popping doing uh, Heaven on High the one time. I think you had a Gunbreaker, I believe. So check him out, guys. Another stream to watch for Deep Dungeon. You'll like him. I swear. Let's go blow up a bird. Here, this is really easy. It's the same as the 10 boss. Except, of course, he's a little bit more meatier. He uh, gains some levels. But we're just gonna run around the circle as we do as Machinist. He'll have a, he'll have a bit of a trouble keeping up with us. Oh, I gotta wake up early tomorrow. Oh, crap. I just remembered I need to wake up early tomorrow. Crap. That's yeah, good. I got, I got something to do. That'll be good. Good thing today will go pretty fast. One. Watch the HP here. Gotta get blood for blood, God. 
gotta go give blood to the blood god. Oh, I didn't reassemble. Once you want to want it to pull stop sinking, but actually, uh, I think I think specifically Rancher, it's uh, 95. 95, I think, is when it goes uncapped. Either 94, or 95, but pretty much, yeah. It's 8 a.m. My place. What am I doing here? I still haven't slept. Um, hey, look. Yeah. I am not a. I'm not someone who manages scheduling. So I mean, you do you as long as you're okay with it. My strength is gone. I'm now done with Heaven on High. I may look into Palace. How are tanks like Warrior doing? Is it much harder? I wouldn't say it's much harder. I mean, Behemoth is still going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, and not to mention, I, I I think Warrior would just frustrate you because of the whole, uh, you know, it's Berserk, not in a release. But its toolkit in itself is just very strong. We had such a good time. I did one-shot Warrior on my end. I mean, that gives you an indication. I'm working night shifts for three years now, so yeah, just check out. Aw oh, dang dude! Alright, well, and sounds like it's not a bad bad thing that you're here then. Running around in circles, running around in circles. Bad time? Yo Luxie, have a good one man, thanks for being here, I should hope to catch you next time. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I will be back on Thursday, by the way. I've been streaming Wednesdays a couple days because we were working on some variety of games or we did some PvP, but I'm kind of I'm kind of in between games right now, so I don't have anything to play, therefore I have nothing to stream. So we'll be back on the normal schedule. Is that a Chila? Oh my god, it's a Miss Chila. Did you clear ultimate already? Damn, I can't believe you cleared ultimate already. Holy crap. World second, god damn dude. Stream some WoW cloud dude, I don't even have a WoW account, that's not happening. <laughs> I've never played WoW in my life, that's not happening. I'd go stream Hello Kitty first before I do uh WoW. Yo by the way, shout outs to our to our bestie Miss Sheila, moderator of this channel, but also just a wonderful human being. She speaks Japanese and she likes penguins. But she was doing ulti today. She does deep dungeon in the in, in the NA morning times. Um, check her out. No, I'm okay. I forgot to kill you when. Um, what do you, don't they have like don't they have like 64 man raids or something in a in the Hello Kitty? We should get 64 people. Let's do a raid. I believe he just like hugged the boss to death or something. Like you walk up to the boss and you just basically just go like hug DPS or something. Shower them with like hearts or whatever. I think that's how it goes. Um, she's the bestest. <laughs> yeah, HPS, yeah, hugs per second, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <clears throat> Alright, we are in the last set of fours. Also, if it's your first time here, I'm Angela Demonist. I do a lot of deep dungeon solo. Um, we do a little bit of variety on Monday morning, uh, Monday afternoons. We do a little PvP right now on Friday, so I'm going to be doing that until the queues die. So we do a little bit of a mix-up on the stream, but our main focus is here on Deep Dungeon. Um, so if you ever think about soloing, this is the place to be. I'd like to think so. Um, at least I can point you in very many directions if you need any more help, but uh, we got you covered here. Clean! Um, been pretty clean. Talked a lot, as one does when we try to teach people. If we don't get any mechanical information about EW Deep Dungeon before it's released, what job do you think? Red Mage, period. Red Mage, period. Oh my god, it's a Midna, baby. Midna? Wait, mine and baby stands reporting the booty. The booty. <laughs> Wait, did you name your- did you name your merch shop that- Guys, guys, from Midna's stream, did she finally name her, her merchandise store Mind and Baby? Because I'm waiting for the Mind and Baby Midna Baby store to buy like, uh, like bath bombs or something, I don't know. No merc yet. You disappoint me, madam. <laughs> it's the perfect name. Come on, dude. Yo, guys, check out Mid. Dude, you were doing, you were, you were doing like everything. She was cooking. She was doing a cooking stream yesterday. She does a variety. She was blowing it up on Elden like before. 
I imagine... I'm not sure what you were doing today. You were doing maybe ultimate today? I imagine. She's, she's one of the best healers out there. She she did an astro guide um, for raiding, which is such a good guide. Um, so she is just one of the best. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that. Welcome in, guys. Angela's Demon is here. We do a lot of deep dungeon solo, and we're constructing a new live tutorial, which is a, a type of guide that I do where I kind of like talk a lot, explain a lot about the run when you want to try to get Necromancer, and we're doing it for Machinas. So we actually got we actually got ten more floors, so we're about to go in probably about three more minutes on stream. So um, if you want to hang for that and see how that goes, there's actually quite a bit of things I'm going to explain on the next set. There's actually some really cool tech that we're going to talk about in the next set. Um, so if you want to learn a little bit. Want to hang around for a little bit? That'd be great. Otherwise, you gotta go. You gotta go. I appreciate that. Alternate proc tonight was sleep because of baking machine. <laughs> Damn, dude. Ultimate raider, savage raider, midna baby defeated by baking. Wow. The mighty have fallen. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yo, baby bungee. Thanks for the follow. Hexy, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, dude, she's great. Oh my god, she's she's her streams are so good. She is a professional, so if you haven't seen her streams um, before, please check her out. She's awesome. So good. So good. Such a good streamer. And just such a great person overall. Thank you. Enchanted one, I appreciate that as well. Um, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for coming over and, and, and dropping your, your guys over here. I really appreciate that. Um, but I do expect the Mind and Baby store to show up at some point for the merchandise for Midna Baby. I want to get my... <laughs> okay, the t-shirt that says Mind and Baby. It'll make no sense to human beings that see me on the outdoors. <clears throat> yeah, dude, do it! Oh my god, you already have the perfect name. Done. Deal. You have a second tab of me open? Oh god, I can't even survive one tab of me. I don't know how you survive two tabs of me. I think you need at least one or two packs to clear 180 Dancer, even if you go for fans. Some really cool tech getting eaten by Cobra. If I get her, okay, okay, okay. All right, I'll do it for I'll do it for you guys. If you guys want to hang around, I'll show you the tech of actually getting one shot by Cobra. You know, we got a lot of we got a lot of friendos here now. I'm gonna show you something. You can actually get one shot. Very cool in this in this game mode. We'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. I don't usually do it on stream because I die, but uh, we'll do it. I'll show you some stuff. Alright, let's do a couple tech things here. I'm raising... The moment we... Oh, I gotta get to the floors first, you know? We gotta get there first. 110 strat. Uh, Dr. Frank, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Hi, uh, these guys are not special. They're Urganites. They do Conal and then that's it. They do Stereo Sight Aggro. So I can sneak behind them, no problem. Alright, so what we got? Where's my Gigatoads? I need my Gigatoads to do some fun stuff. I don't see any Gigatoads. Uh... Imagine we just don't see Gigatoads and we don't see Cobras and like, I wanted to demonstrate and like, we just can't because they just didn't exist. That'd be funny. Hold on. Leeches are Sights. Uh, oh, there's a Gigatoad. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna steal here. Maybe Chimera? Well, you want me to die to a Chimera? That's not a good demonstration. I, also, that's too high before. Okay, so the Gigatoad, the Gigantoad, they have a positional. The only enemy in Deep Dungeon that has a positional. Watch this. So we're gonna establish this first thing here. I'm gonna turn my back to this Gigatoad. I'm gonna get stunned by the Sticky Tongue. It's like the true Blue Mage spell. And the reason I get stunned is because if my back is turned, or my side is turned, I will get stunned. But if I'm looking at the gig the Gigantoad eye to eye, he can't stun me because this is how it works. Positional. Literal positional. I don't even recall any other enemy in the game that does the positional. Although, you know, I only do this content, so... I could be missing quite a bit. I'm sure, like, there's something in, like, the raids that do a positional. <clears throat> He was an enemy with no eyes. <laughs> well, look, okay. Historically, a hect, a hect eyes in 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 Final Fantasy lore is sound aggro. Historically, only eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's eyes are all like you know they're all kind of they're all kind of faded out. They use too much of it, so that's why. 
That's my only justification. And whether it's a good enough justification, I can't tell you. We've all died to chimeras. We don't need to see that anymore, Cloud. <laughs> yeah, literal demonstration. I think it's more of a. I think it's more of a feat when you don't die to chimera at this point. Okay, pudding is proximity, but I will pull one because I want this chest. Alteration. Got to take off. I see you, RC. Thanks for being here. Have a good night. Thank you for that. So there's a handful of tech that we have. So the Gigan Toad is one of them. The Cobras are another. And later on, the Morbles have a really interesting tech that you want to do to survive Morbles because they have a Wobble combo that's pretty bad. But there's a way to get around that. Um. Are you kidding me? I wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat from, from a goddamn Chimera train. Hey, that's why, honestly, dubbing 189 the Chimera Nest is really appropriate. Because the amount of Chimeras you see... Oh, oh, we did! The amount of Chimeras you see in 189 is out of this world. Out of this world. But uh, there's a lot of easy things to kill. Alright, give me another Toad. Give me another Toad. Come on, game. We gotta, we gotta show the class some things in this game. Yeah, we found a toad. Hog. Alright, so we just showed you that having my back turned to a toad stunned me. And it's a wombo combo, because you get stunned, you get hit with labor leave, there's no way to get out. So now we're gonna pull a toad, and watch, I'm going to I'm gonna face it eye to eye. I'm gonna do a staring contest with the toad. And observe what happens when it gets sticky tongue. I'm gonna get sticky tongue here. No stun, and I can get out. So it's important, because on a Machinist, you're probably kiting a Gigatoad like this. You're probably running around with a Gigatoad. But more than likely, you might, your back might be turned when it does a Sticky Tongue, and you take the Wombo combo. So that's something to think about, uh, fighting those things. And let me tell you that that Labored Leap, there's a reason I stealed, is because the Labor Leap does do a lot of damage. So I did that for the demonstration purpose, but I wouldn't do that without steel. <clears throat> I both flighted and altered my 189 not to have to deal with it. Fair. This thing I'm gonna make that spawn look so lonely. I mean, you like, you, you, you made it only spawn like with the one thing. The Kaiser who laughs. Hello. Hey man. Would you say Reaper can deal more damage than Machinist or Gone Palace? Yes. I would say it does rip more damage out than Machinist will. Of course, your problem with Reaper is that it's a melee. And there might be times when you're having to live and kite. Um and like, you know, survive, so you're losing damage because of it. Reaper has one of the worst disengage though. I mean, yeah, you can egress, and then you get instant heart, but if you don't have instant heart, you, you really can't use it if you're trying to survive. Because you, you have to stop and cast to make it happen. So, if you're in a position where you need to survive because of kiting, that's a lot of boss damage. But Reaper, the way you approach Reaper, and to get the best out of Reaper, is literally kill the enemy before it kills you. Just like go ham on the enemy, drop all your gauge, drop all your cooldowns, and just murder it. And that's how you succeed on Reaper for most of the time. I wouldn't say every time, but most of the time that's how you would succeed on Reaper. Because you can do an ape, no steal on Reaper. You can do a hippograph in 191, no steal on Reaper. A lot of things you can get through on Reaper with Bloodbath that most melee, honestly, I would never do that on the other melee. I wouldn't do that on Dragoon, I wouldn't do that on Monk, I wouldn't fight an Ape No Steel with those jobs, but I can do it on Reaper because Reaper's just busted. How's new summoner? Amazing. Amazing Terrell. Terrell, if you've seen the if you've seen the the machinist run that I've been doing, or you've seen Machinist run at all, or you've done it yourself, basically you think of Machinist, uh, I'm sorry, basically you think of Summoner as the machinist of casters because you play it like machinist like a lot of times the way you cater to summoner is you would kind of pass on ifrit you would like not really use ifrit that much or you would use ifrit and then go skipping to the other uh to the other summons because you have a little bit of downtime between pulls so you never have to worry about that hard cast of ifrit which means your titan is an instant cast and your garuda is an instant cast as well although it's not that it's not that strong so your mobility is insane. And then of course you want to be using Dreadworm Stance as much as possible because that gives the bulk of your damage and it's a massive amount of damage. So you're doing a massive burst. It's almost like you do have like a reassembled drill from Summoner because of uh, because of Dreadworm Stance and, 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 and all that stuff. 
so good. Except, of course, your downfall is that you don't have interrupt. You have sleep, but you don't have interrupt. So it's something to think about. So you need zero and machine is running no gauges, yeah. I might be able to demonstrate that if we get another Gigato, I can do one more demonstration. But my seal's about to run out, so we'll see. Oh, thanks, I love these. That's a rather, very specific uh, answer there, but thank you for that. Shrink. Here. Do, 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 do. Potchard! One of the reasons I'm doing this is because I want potchards. Oh, we got- oh, no, just kidding. False alarm. I thought I was going to get a gear toad. We did find the exit though, so that's nice. But I am lacking on the steel. Machinist has much better burst at full resources. Okay. That would kind of make sense, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna get back in the hallway first before I pull, because if we step on a trap, it's gonna be pretty bad. So back in the hallway. Hallways are safe, no traps in the hallways. Okay, steel is down, so I don't want to demonstrate anymore. We are going to enter to the floors that do have Cobras. And again, I'm going to demonstrate to you something unique about a Cobra, okay? I do need two Cobras to make this happen so you can see the comparison. But it is just very, very specific and unique to Cobras, where they can kill you in one shot, and I'll show you how that happens. Because, yeah, we got some we got some, some friendos here. Midna was very, very nice, and Ben was very nice to give those raids, so... Might have some new people chilling. And I'll show you some fun stuff. Okay, so here's the initial Cobra. I want you to watch this because you're going to see what it normally does. It does a poison here, and then it just does melee attacks, okay? This is a normal pull on a Cobra. Nothing special. I mean, it does a lot of damage because that dumb poison, but that's just basically your traditional Cobra, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep this in mind. We're going to find another Cobra. Also, slimes enrage. If you keep them alive for too long, they will blow up. So we want to kill them fast, or we can completely ignore them because they are, they are, uh, they are uh, sound. So I could ignore them completely. Still came back good. Now we need one more cobra to complete this demonstration. Intuition. <clears throat> we got a cobra. So here we go. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna do a sight here because I want a toad trap specifically. Not a toad trap. I'm gonna bypass the Cobra here. I need a Toad Trap to show off this thing. I'm doing it for you guys, because I don't typically like doing this since it kills me, but... Hey yo, you for the show. Oh, but it is contingent on me finding a Toad Trap, because I haven't even seen one yet, so we'll see if I can even get a Toad Trap. Should be caught enough. I think farming Pachas Pal is so annoying, it deserves people from trying to clear it. Potentially. Potentially, yes. I'm not gonna argue that fact. Potentially. One. I'm dead on floor 150 with 10% no steal. Oh no, oh no. I'm sorry, Kyle. Well, lessons learned. Okay. Pull this. This is proximity, so I gotta pull it to move along. Oh crap. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna attack Titian here. You're a liver? What is- You're a liver? What does that mean? You're alive? Oh, okay. Like, how do you become a liver? Like, that seems very oddly specific. Wait, let me get the chest first. Another cobra? Cobra. There's only one more- There's only one more room I can check if there's a toad trap. It worked really hard. Got it. Let's 
Stray. I'll use it again, because I'm gonna nuke it anyway. Okay, let's see if that last room has a Toad Trap, otherwise I have to try it in the next room to show you guys what I want to show you. Look at this evil trap. If I went around the right side, I'm pretty sure I step on that trap. That is a Lloyd trap. Here's another Cobra. I'll back out here. I'm trying to time this so I can pass on the Cobra. Did not do it because I suck at this game. Potion here. Um, I don't think that's Toad Trap. I'm pretty sure that's Landmine. Okay, we'll have to go to the next room to see if I can do the Toadra thing. Uh, how many sustainings do you think is an average one run? We always suggest 400 to 500. 400 to 500. Also, hey Tiffany, how you doing? It's funny, your free trial PB is still top 10 leaderboard. Hell yeah, dude! I'm a gamer. I'm surprised the account didn't get deleted. Yeah, that's more that's more my surprise. I don't know how to- I don't know the password of that account. Oh shit, okay, hold on. I'm gonna witching here. I got two really bad enemies here. The slime which can enrage and then a cobra that's going to be, um doing uh, poison on me, so it's just a bad combo. So I'm gonna wish in here to respect that. Hey Perry. I know I'm here at the end, but good luck. No problem, hey. Hey, whether you're here at the beginning or the end, Soul, doesn't matter, man. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, I usually start with 1k-ish, but sometimes I'm gonna go... So I always, so personally, Tiffany, I always start with about 900. If I start the one with 900, I never have to worry about running out, ever. Ever, ever, ever. I never worry about running out. So it's kind of a nice feeling, because I have ran out before. Um, because I forgot to re-up it. But it's a nice feeling to know that I don't have to run out. Okay, I need another Cobra, guys. Hope for Cobra, otherwise I can't do the demonstration. I'm looking for one, I don't see one. Hey, no problem. I hope it helps, Soul. Hope it made sense, and I hope it helps. Rich. If the one time you agree to do this and you'll fight Cobra, Toad, Toad Trap, my life will fall apart. <laughs> Can you imagine saying? Like, I'm actually trying to die here. I popped the raising and everything. I should have popped the raising later. Uh, that was my mistake. No, you know what? That's my mistake. I should have done the raising when I saw the opportunity, not beforehand, because the game is like, what are you trying to do? It's, when are I going to do this? It sounds like the game. That sounds like Final Fantasy XIV to me, right? I think it sounds like, sounds like it to you too. That's the Final Fantasy XIV I know. In love. I'm gonna have to dump it. I don't see a Cobra on this floor. There's only one more floor a Cobra can show up in is the next one. <laughs> I see the big brain play. You use it because it never shows up. Okay, I gotcha. I see. Well, I didn't see it here, so we have one more floor a Cobra can show up. I really want to demonstrate this to you guys. But if the game doesn't give it to me, I can't force it out. That is not a toad trap. <clears throat> Thoughts on toadying so? I don't, because people know I don't do ultimate, so I don't get asked. <laughs> but it's cool. That's all I'll say. It's kind of cool. Is that a cobra? Okay, that's a cobra. I need a toad trap. But no, the the stuff is great. It's been it's been fun to watch it. I've been having fun watching it. Um, that's for sure. So. 
can't wait to summon the dudes to clear. Um, Star Hall, thanks for follow up, man. It's a luring trap. It's not a, it's not a toe trap. One, two, three, four, five. There's no trap here. Oh my god. If I don't have a toad trap, that's it. I can't I can't demonstrate it. Is see last phase so bad? This is tragic. There's no trap here either. Oh my god. There's only one more room that could potentially have a toad trap. We got it! Oh we got it! We got it! We got it! We got it! We got it. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. Okay, I can demonstrate. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a toad trap, okay? So, let's remind you, what happened when we fought a cobra? What was it doing before? It was just giving me poison, it was just auto-attacking me, okay? That's what's happening. I double-checked to make sure I had a raising up. Um, so we're gonna find a cobra here, alright? This is a very unique tech. It's not really tech, it's called... Don't do whatever. That's what I'm gonna call it. Uh, if you guys have done COIL... All the way back AR rating COIL, okay? Uh, you would know that there- I think it's turn 1. Turn 1, there is a, uh, there is a mechanic there that the Cobras do a devour with the slimes. So what will happen is, under normal circumstances, this thing only does poison and autos. If I turn into a toad, which is reminiscent of Crystal Tower... I have raising, right? Watch it. It does devour and one-shots me. <laughs> it didn't waste any time, but that's what it does. It just devours and one-shots me. That's what happens. It only uses devour when I'm a toad. Only enemy that one-shots you because of that. That's a cobra. I gotta reach. That was beautiful. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I hope you guys like that because I died and I lost points for it just for your entertainment, okay? Literally just for your entertainment, I lost points for that. You stand- oh no, I, I fight in hallways. I don't even- I do not kite them through rooms at all. I got what I wanted from this stream is bedtime. <laughs> See you sick. Have a good one, man. Do it again to prove it wasn't. Oh my god. Uh, next time. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, we shall do that. Also, there's no more toe traps, so that's just not happening. And the Cobras do stop at this floor. Yeah, yeah, please get traumatized, because that's a clean one shot. It's just it's just an absolute one shot. It's just. Yeah, don't, don't get toad. I died to that ad on the Heaven on High that turns you into. Oh! We demonst uh, Chile demonstrated that on, um, on Sunday. She got turned into a pig, stunned, and then nom nommed For science. Entertainment education, yeah. Hey look, my, my whole spiel about doing these runs and putting them on YouTube and streaming it is that you watch me suffer so you guys don't have to suffer, right? That's the whole idea there, so watch me die so you don't have to die. Alright, so here on this floor we'll have Morble Tech. We'll call it Morble Tech. The Morbles, they do a combo. Sleep into bad breath. It's really bad. So there is a really good way to handle it, and I'll show you when we fight one. Also, I cannot die again, because otherwise the run's over, and I wasted my time. So easy. Morble besties. Hey guys, I do want to alert you, okay? If Chila comes up to you, like IRL... Or like in-game, and she's like, Hi, you're my bestie, you need to run for your life, because she kills besties. She just, just murders them, so just be careful, alright? You call the bestie, you're, you're kind of like, you're marked for assassination. Uh... Okay. Where are the morbles? They're not showing up. Well, actually, would pull you. Stand inside them and run out. Yep. 
You're so excited, Kyle. I like the excitement, man. Kyle, how does it feel also to be to be called out in the new uh, in the new ultimate? I heard about the whole I am Kyle thing. Now I'm terrified to bring her in Discord. I mean, you'll be fine. Just don't get called a bestie, man. That's it. It's like it's like you know. It's like it's like if you have like a vampire friend or something. Just make sure you don't like cut yourself, otherwise you're screwed. As long as you don't like draw blood, you're fine. Right? That's how that works. Intuition. At least that's what Castlevania taught me. Or like, you know, other vampire movies. More will see things are sound, so I can pass them. Be friend? Yeah. Nothing here. I need a Morble! Why is this game making it hard for me to demonstrate tactics here? Okay, well, I don't see one, so I guess we'll have to wait for the next four. Um, Gear Charge. Hey, thanks for follow. Welcome in. I'm out. I am outie. Let's go. Necromancer, 10,000%. However, I did make this comment one time. If they ever thought about doing a Omni title for Deep Dungeon Solo, like you cleared all the jobs available and you got an Omni title, if they named the Heaven on High one as a Loneliest Hero, so like Lone Hero is clearing it once. If clearing it 19 times gave you the Loneliest Hero, I'll use the Loneliest Hero. <laughs> I'll take that one. But for now, it's Necromancer all the way, because I do like Necromancer a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorite jobs in other games. I do I do kind of gravitate to the Necromancer job, so I love the Necromancer title. Yeah. It's a good description for me. You're like the loneliest hero. Not only loneliest hero, the loneliest hero. Necro <laughs> Okay, Chila. Only Sierra sounds cool as hell. Yeah, wouldn't that be like a nice way to upgrade the the title as an Omni title? Oh, I did not wildfire. Necrus here. Oh, I didn't ever. So if he does stone skin, that's stone skin. It it gives it about a fifty percent stone skin. So I can't cut through this. Even if you rage, you actually only get half its HP out. So that's why it's a little weird thing. What are morbles? Guys, what happened to the Morbles? This is like the this is like me trying to demonstrate the damn uh trying to demonstrate the damn Corvus earlier. I just, they just don't exist. Well the main reason I saw my PLT guy no commands look cool. Hell yeah, they're cool dude. Every time I see a Necromancer or every time people see Necromancer, they know. I know sometimes the legend titles get a little wonky sometimes with people what they think about it, but Necromancer? No, nah, they they know you're a gamer. So it's kind of cool. And there, yes, there are more and more people getting the title, but I think unanimously, whenever you see one, it's just like, oh, sh oh crap, man, he's a gamer. He or she is a gamer. Where are the marbles? Guys, how can I show you how to deal with things if the game is like, oh, we just won't spawn them? God damn it. You know, sometimes this game is I just don't understand this game. I don't I don't know why people play this game at all. Irritating. 18 seconds on that. Literally not a single mobile in, in existence right now. Right. I'm gonna walk because this is sound. <clears throat> Alright, we got two more floors, guys, till the end of stream. I do appreciate you guys hanging around. I hope uh, we were able to give a little bit of information. And if ever you want to join uh, the club of the Necromancer, 
talk at me, join our Discord, watch the YouTube videos. This is what I do. I want to get everyone their titles. And it doesn't matter what kind of gamer you are. It doesn't matter if you're if you're a heavy time raider and a god tier raider like Midna was, is, or just your guy who who logs in twice, you know, twice a week, one hour a week or something like that. We can it doesn't matter who you are. You put enough time into it, you'll get the title. It's just that simple. Honestly, I, I do understand how raid can get intimidating. I mean, you gotta work with seven other people, and sometimes that's the stopping component. Honestly, that's one thing that I kind of have a little bit of uh, hesitation on is, is that kind of, you know, the static format and everything, but this content is all you. It's just all you. And that's why it makes it really appealing and it's really challenging to boot. Alright, we finally have a Morble. So watch this, guys. I'm gonna pull a Morble. You wanna stand dead center, because watch what his first move is. It's going to be a sleep. It's a wombo combo. Sleep is in. Now, I did get lucky. I got hit there. But if you're in normal range here, like you are from normal melee, if you get slept, you are getting hit with bad breath almost guaranteed. So you want to be standing dead here to avoid that bad breath coming in, the wombo combo. Very important. Um, it's it's just like a, it, an interesting way of handling it, but you're not going to die from bad breath. It's just you don't want to take it. I mean, everyone knows what bad breath is. It's just literally every debuff on the planet gets hit, gets, gets, uh, you get hit with. So that's the way you handle the Morble. So those are the three unique enemies here. The the Gigantoads with their prox with their positional sticky tongue. The Cobras with their one shot of a toad. And the Morbles with their uh, bad breath. And really like this set of four in particular is really the only one that has that type of unique enemies in this in this place. It's 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 interesting that it only really happens on this one set. Everything else is just more about understanding what they do, why they can kick your butt why they're hard, so on and so forth, but this place has the weird enemies of what they do. And the slimes, the slimes we mentioned. They explode, they enrage, if you keep them alive too long, they will one-shot you. That's not fun either, you know? Um, but it's just things that you kind of need to try to keep in mind and not take for granted. If you're killing everything one at a time, you probably don't even run into it as a problem, but it's kind of good to know sometimes. It was a pinned, so do you have it. Wait, that's bad English. If the Omni title available, so one guy in GP server already claimed it every job in the new Well, there's I think three or four people, or five people that do have the Omni Palace and Omni Heaven on High. I think it is a very, very exclusive club. But there are multiple people who, who have done it. Good afternoon. Also, a reminder, I've been streaming on Wednesdays. But I will not be streaming tomorrow. Uh, I just don't have anything to stream, so I will just take a break and chill tomorrow, catch up on some um, work stuff. Uh, and we'll be back Thursday to continue this one. So the continuation of this file will be Thursday. Alright, so let's demonstrate the Morble one more time before we go for the boss. So again, I'm going to stand in the middle of the boss here. We're going to get slept first thing. Watch the sleep duration of my bar. Three, two, I got hit here. I can move. Sometimes it doesn't get the hit off. Almost more, almost more than more than likely, it doesn't actually smack you. But even if it, it doesn't smack you, you'll be able to get out just in time. All right, let's go to the boss. I do the boss in a little specific way. Um, you can do it however you want to, but the most important part is that you kill the bees. This will have bee ads, and you need to kill them because if you do not kill them, they final sting and they will, well. One bee won't kill you, but two bees will certainly kill you. So you gotta kill at least one bee, but we are DPS, we can handle all the bees. All the bees. So I will DPS this normally here. Nothing too special about this. But I will do a Lust when the first set of bees come in. So it'll do Leaf Storm, which is an AoE. It'll do Prey, which kind of puts the bees on you. I believe if this was in a party, either multiple people or one person would get triggered for the prey so the bees go to them. Here I'm gonna pop a potion, safety potion, I'm gonna lust here. And I'm gonna be right on top of the boss because I'm gonna hit the boss plus the bees. So we accomplish two birds with one stone, or maybe three birds with one stone. I get the bone sack on the boss, and I get rid of these bees in time. One more go for the bees, and then one more go for the boss. That's how I handle this boss. Yeah, you don't have to Lust. Lust is not necessary, but of course I'm not really using Lust anywhere else, so I've been using them on bosses. Here we cut around. 
you know, pretty standard for physical range here. I'm gonna hold on to my reassemble because it's coming up. Drop the turret. I think I may be starting to attempt against this fire bro. 101 plus deaths are demoralizing. They are very demoralizing. But it is hard mode. It is the hellboard floor, so it is meant to be hard, but... You know, just gotta clean up the run, make it a little bit more careful, keep moving, and you'll get there. Alright, so we take care of the bees here. One bee down, we take care of the other one. Also guys, if you haven't, my link just came up for the, for the glasses. We are parking with GMT blue light glasses. It is what I've been wearing all month and I'm going to be wearing it this month as well. Uh, actually right now, as of I think today and tomorrow, there is actually a 40% discount. It says 25 in my bot, but I think the link actually has a 40% discount. So if you want to kind of take advantage of that, that's going to happen just uh, for a short while. But they are great. They protect you against blue lights on the screen. Um, so if you want to uh, protect your eyes against that blue light, these glasses are great and I've, I definitely like them. I've been using them quite a bit and they've been really nice. So. The events helped me a lot through- hey, no problem! And this is what this video is meant to do. It's going to be for that. To help more and more people and have a more updated uh, version of this file. There you go. Done. I really wish they had prescription. I- yeah, I, yeah, they don't do prescription, unfortunately. I think it would be like really complicated for them to do that, but that's fair. They just kind of keep it simple. Alright guys, so that's 120. That is my goal today. Uh, what I'd like to do is show off the file. There it is. 121. That is what we'll do on Thursday. Thursday. But I do appreciate y'all being here. Thank you for all the raids. Sheila with the raid. Midna with the raid. Ben with the raid. Um, who else gave us the raid? I know we got a couple other ones. Zedon with that raid. Really nice of them to drop by. Um, so thank you, thank you guys. I hope it was a good watch. We'll continue this Thursday for the continuation. A lot more explanation on the second run. Almost every set will have something cool. So if you want to see the continuation of that, you want to learn a little bit more, come in Thursday, we'll talk. Actually, one thing that I did last week, which I do want to continue, is I do want to pull one of everything. That includes even the higher floors. Well, the only thing I didn't pull last week was, a, was an Anzu because I didn't have the opportunity to do so. But while I'll try to pull every single enemy in Deep Dungeon. Anzus, apes, frost dragons, worms, you name it. We're going to pull one of at least everything to show you how the fight goes. So if you want to see how each of the, how Machinist handles all of those fights, I'm going to try my best to do that. And that'll be kind of cool to do on Thursday. So thank you guys. Hey guys, if you haven't already, we have the socials. Uh, Discord is popping. Come on in with Discord. Um, we talk a lot of Deep Dungeon. We talk a lot of PvP. And I do a lot of the variety games. So I've been posting about that. Twitter is where I announce to go live. And the two YouTube channels, I have two. The first one is where you see all of the Deep Dungeon stuff. The second one is where you see me do uh, some variety. And I've been putting up speed runs of Stranger Paradise. I actually am world third for Stranger Paradise. And I'm trying to make that faster. We do that on Monday. So if you want to see me play some variety, I've separated the channels there. So I love to use Alka, Kana, Necro, Kyle. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I don't know what I'd be able to join the stream again, but I'll definitely, yes. I'll catch you on YouTube, Necro. I appreciate you passing by. Uh, let's go say hi to someone in the directory, shall we? Um, let's see who we got. Uh, let's see who I can drop you guys off with, drop the kids off. Um, uh, I always say, hey, let me find someone new, and then I never find someone new. But maybe we'll find someone this one. Let's see. Um, I know so many people are doing ultimates. Um... Uh, oh, let's go... I want to go here. Let me see. She, this person is doing ultimates, but I know them before. And I, I'd like to maybe pass by, but let me see if there's someone else I might be able to visit. Um, what's the sound? Is there someone on the tank? Let me see. Check this one out. Um, okay, let's go over here. Uh, I've seen them before. And I know they're really kind, they've been around the block with uh, other people. But I want to give them some some good vibes and maybe you could watch their prog. They are, uh, crazy. And they are in, uh, they're doing blind prog. I don't know how far they are, it doesn't really say where, where they are, but let's go meet them. Drop you guys off over there, hopefully they'll keep going. How long have they been streaming for? Oh, two hours, so they might be up and around a bit. So, they said, they said no backseating, so be careful, try not to backseat. But at least you can watch uh, 
you know them and give them some good vibes with that with that uh with that raid so thank you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful night i am not streaming tomorrow i've been streaming on wednesdays a couple times but i'm not streaming tomorrow so i'll be back on thursday so thank you good night good morning all that stuff catch you later let's go raid see you guys raid now